Family. 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 The cult. We turned into a cult. We we trans we ascended into cultness. Jared Leto style. Absolutely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be throwing a uh, white robe only summit and some uh, island where everything's legal, where there's no law. In Curacao. Kira, oh, Curacao would be let's a good. Let's go to Curacao. That'd be a good place to party in white attire. Everyone will be in white attire. I'll be wearing red or something, and everyone else will wear. <laughs> yeah. White. Yeah. Yeah. That's Joker brand is fun. That's the cult shit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, speaking of Jared Leto, I'm happy to say, or I don't know if happy is the right word, but um, there was that movie that came out that everyone was hyped to. Oh, The House of Gucci. House of Gucci. Yeah. And Jared Leto was in it. Yeah. And I'm happy to say that everybody hated his performance. <laughs> right? Am I right? That was like a universal reaction. <laughs> So that's good. I believe it got panned by critics. I actually, I actually <laughs> enjoyed his performance. Oh, <laughs> oh, I haven't seen the movie, so you're entitled to that opinion. But <clears throat> I just don't know how he's a serious actor after all we've seen from him. He did win an Academy Award mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. the Dallas Buyers he's Club. He's been in some very good movies. Mm -hmm. To be fair, man. Yeah, to be well, fair. despite him, <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> I mean, come on. Anyway, come on. welcome to After Dark. It's Friday, baby. Let's go. That's Sponsored right. by Raycon and Mint Mobile. Thank you guys so much. <clears throat> I'm so tired. I feel like doo doo did Meg Dee Dee Mega doo doo today. Were you treadmilling in Final Fantasy all night? Dude, okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> the new Final Fantasy <laughs> expansion came out last night at one. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little rough. So I was like, okay, I'm trying to log in. I'm trying to log in. Get in. There's like a 3,000 person wait list, but I'm waiting patiently like a good boy. <laughs> I get down to the very end of the queue, ready to log in. Here we go. I go to take, I'm just, I'm sorry if this is crude. I'm taking, I'm, you know, passing stool. <laughs> is that... Defecation. You were defecating. <laughs> What's the nicest way to say it? I think defecating is... Passing that's... stool? Mm -hmm. I was dropping a stool sample off. Yeah, I think I might have shit my pants. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not as crude as Mike. So I was I was dropping... Um, let's say... I bag was a turd. You know, a flaming turd bag. All right. I was, I was dropping the bread dough off. I was... I was... Li I was pinching a loaf. I was... Uh, Putting the bread l loaves out to rise. Dropping the kids <laughs> off at the pool. What? You never heard that? What? No. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what happens was I was on the toilet, finished, ready to, you know, finish up. The power goes out in the whole fucking house. <laughs> now, we have an electric toilet. It's a bidet. I cannot flush <laughs> this toilet when the power goes out. Wait, even the flush? It, I don't is, know. You think no, that you, you I don't can't? Know if we don't know how to do it, but you would think there would be a way. I was tinkering. I was looking <laughs> everywhere. I was pushing everything. <laughs> there, as far as I can tell, there's no way to flush this fucking toilet when there's no electricity. And um, so I've got a giant shit in my toilet that I can't flush, and I can't log into my goddamn game. There's no power all night long. Yep. I'm walking around by candlelight, like damn. Uh, uh, who's the guy in the Christmas Carol? Ebenezer Scrooge. Yeah, like Ebenezer Scrooge. Ebenezer Klein. I was feeling like Ebenezer Scrooge last night. Damn. Damn. A man oh, okay, AB. Yeah, there's a manual flush button available on the right. I pushed that fucking t button, bro. Trust there me, is? I pushed it like a thousand times. Yeah, there's a little button on the side. It says for flushing. It doesn't work. Mm. It does not work. Huh. And in fact, if you don't trust me, I'll put it on my story today. <laughs> Even though we do have... Is we the do. turd still in there? <laughs> no. To be honest, I forgot to check this morning. Oh, no, it could be. It but could what be. I sus I don't think it is because it's downstairs <laughs> in our kind of like public bathroom. Ooh. 
Oh. oh. Hey, hey, Gabe. What's going on, Ethan? What's going on? Hey, Gabe. How are you doing? You're at Target? Is this a paid uh, Target. <laughs> integration? I'm doing some shopping right now. It's Friday shopping. Today is the mm. day to shop. It's every Friday. Oh, you mm. shop every Friday? i look at some trees. Yeah. Okay, that sh those shelves look stacked. What are, you lo what are you looking at there? I'm trying to look at Christmas trees and stuff. Oh, right. hell yeah. Yeah, got some that. Christmas um, lights. It looks good on the tree. <laughs> um, is, can you ask that employee Ooh. behind you if it's okay your mask is down for the call? <laughs> it, it's okay if my mask is down for the call. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm All right. oh, he's good. He's oh. Approved. <laughs> Interesting. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks to that yeah. store employee. What a guy. What a guy. How you been? How was your um, Thanksgiving? It's great. Ooh, I had a good turkey. Ooh. <laughs> Makes me sleepy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You eat your fair share of good food? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Ooh. Deserve that turkey all year, baby. Fuck, Hell fuck yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> fuck yeah, baby. <laughs> Fuck yeah, baby. All right. Yeah. Well, Target. Wow. We love to see it. You know, the holidays are coming. What are you getting me for Christmas? Oh, something. Something. A surprise. Okay. Okay. Maybe a surprise. Okay. Should okay, we do a secret? Yeah. Should we do a secret Santa for each other? Should we do a gift gift exchange? Oh, that's sure, why fun. not? Mm. Ooh, that'd be why don't fun, we have baby. Gabe fuck come me, in person yeah. oh. <clears throat> on our last one before Christmas and we can do a gift exchange, me and you? Does that love sound good? That. Love yeah. that. That, that would work. <laughs> that sounds fun. I'd, I'd love to see you in person and give you an embrace in real oh, life. Yeah. Get some of those okay, woos going. Yeah. Give you a big <laughs> fat kiss. <laughs> fuck, baby. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, baby. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, baby. Fuck, yeah. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. 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 Oh my god. Ow. 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 Fuck, hey, baby. There's a sale here. Yeah, I see that. Nine bucks. Sale. Damn. For some Christmas lights? Nine bucks for Christmas lights. I don't think it's a big roll. It's a, I think it's one of those small. Oh, yeah, it's a small one. Yeah, it's a you small roll. You got a double, it's 18, a triple, 24. <laughs> Hell yeah. You got all those prices on lockdown. Oh. All, right. all right, Gabe. Well, you know. Don't want to interfere with your shopping, but it is Friday, so I'm glad to talk to you. Is there work or school tomorrow? No work, no school tomorrow. Hell fucking no. Fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. <laughs> baby. Woo. Friday, baby. Ow. Woo. It's Friday, baby. Friday. Yeah. Woo. Shopping Friday, baby. Fuck. Shopping Friday. <laughs> All right. Are you going to pick up some White Claws? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Good call. All right. White Claws Christmas. All right. You Woo. take care. You have a good holiday. Okay, bud? Yeah, have a good one. Or, fuck well, me. not fuck a holiday yeah. weekend. All right. Take care. All right, appreciate you. All right. Love to see you, right. Gabe. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. All right, bye. fuck me. Fuck yeah. Fuck, baby, fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for to do um, the gift exchange. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's great. You better show up with something good for me. Because I'm going to show up with something good for him. for him. I'm going to buy him a Rolex sack. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> 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 Oof. <laughs> That one stung. That stings, huh? That's not even funny, is it? <laughs> no, that's, that's too cold, man. That's, that's some dark shit right there. <laughs> yeah, so, um, what was it, uh, what was it I was talking about before, Gabe? You were talking it? about your giant turd left in your <laughs> toilet. Oh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. the bathroom is in this communal area that, like, other people use who are in our home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For example, Lena might use this toilet. Right. Mm. Yeah. She was there this morning. <laughs> yeah, she was there helping this morning. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I made a mental note to get there first thing in the morning to give yeah, it a right. but I didn't. <laughs> and i assuming somebody <laughs> went in there and had a rude <laughs> awakening. And this was not a turd you would necessarily want to walk in on. Not that any of them are, but this one in particular. <laughs> was uh, fairly girthy mm. and she, long. Was it solid, at least? Yeah, it was good solid. Mm. Could be worse. That's a little better. Yeah, if it was like a messy <laughs> one, yeah. She is usually here by now, so it does make me wonder. I think she just fainted and hit <laughs> her head out. or something. <laughs> Traumatized. <laughs> yeah, so um, House of Gucci, here's a headline for you. Oh my God, is this a real headline? I love this. Yep. House of Gucci, Jared Leto's horrendous <gasps> performance single-handedly ruins Ridley Scott's movie. Holy shit. Are you serious? This is real? 
Oh my god. Yeah, that's awesome. That is so brutal. I didn't think he was that bad. I thought he he actually did a good job. Well, to be fair, like isn't that kind of the director's fault too and the casting agent? I didn't know yeah. that movie was Ridley Scott actually. And um Is there is there a director that's more hit or miss than Ridley Scott? There there can't be. Like he has some amazing movies, but he really has been pumping out some stickers. Ridley Scott, what the fuck has he even made recently? Isn't he like the yeah, I mean like this dude, he made like good sci fi. Was he, he actually could, just put this movie out, uh, The Last Duel, which was pretty decent, so it makes sense why this one was bad. Right. <laughs> I, he like seems to be good at like sci fi and fantasy and action and shit like that. I don't know what's this House of Gucci nonsense. Mm. With Jared Leto, of all people. Damn, he could have cut. He should just cast Russell Crowe and everything, seeing that he made <laughs> Gladiator. Love that movie. You know? Can I give an input on House of Gucci since we're on the topic? Sure, I'd love to hear your opinion. So, uh, there's not really spoiling anything, but there's I don't a, think anyone cares. There's a sex scene in the movie that is just so it's a little much. Tell me everything. <laughs> it's just Adam Driver is driving for lack of a better term, Ooh. Lady Gaga, and it's just so intense and like it goes on for so long. It was a consensual oh. moment. Right, okay. right, right, of course. Um, but well, it, it was just it, it was just a much. It was too much. Huh. And and so it felt like a little bit X-rated, you might say. There, you didn't really see anything, but you saw them <clears throat> too much. Yeah, interesting. I feel yeah. like intimate sins are kind of like nobody likes <clears throat> it, or is it just me? No, I totally agree. Because it's like, for me, when I watch something like that. I don't. I mean, sometimes the sex is important to the story. Right, but but, but when you it's not. But it it can be like implied, like okay, they went and they and they are had, having boom, sex. Done. Yeah, exactly. Next scene. Because like I, it's you know, <laughs> I don't. I fully agree with you. Was it important to the story that you see their long, coital <laughs> affair? Absolutely like, not. Yeah. So. <laughs> it was just. It was, and I was sitting next to my grandmother when oh, I yeah. watched it. See, it's it, like nobody well, wants that. That'll affect, <laughs> that'll affect it for yeah, sure. Yeah, that made it peppered your experience a little bit. <laughs> that just went from, you know, it was awful. Yo, um, somebody named Jared donated $20 and said, It is I, Jared, joining <laughs> me in my cult. Hey, How much he donate? 20 bucks. Nice. Yeah, pretty generous. Might be him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah could be. If it was five, I'd be like, No, that's not the real that's Jared. Not, yeah. Well, welcome. Welcome, Jared. Welcome. I need a machine gun. Oh, so anyway, a little bit of top of the show stuff. First of all, shout out to our members who we love so well. Shout out. You make it all happen. You are our first line of defense against the likes of Ryan Kavanaugh. You also get... It's true. Um, episodes early. For example, Leftovers. Members get it on Saturday. It's going up on Sunday. And by the way, it's a great episode. Banger app. Best one yet. Same it is the best one yet. It was That's right. really fucking funny. Yeah, it was fun. Also, um, you get exclusive behind the scenes. Is there one going up this week, AB? Yeah, it's ready to go. What Hopefully. a guy. What a guy. What a guy. So there you go. You know, guy there you are. Nice. Extra content. We love that. And they're great videos, too. I'll be straight up. Any highlights you want to report from it? Uh, not really. Okay. It was all over the There's place. a really long, drawn-out sex scene between AB and Zach. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, members only. <laughs> AB and I do get in a, a pretty gnarly fight in this one, so. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's There's good. um high drama. A lot of people are always asking where's behind the scenes one through seven. That's on the highlights channel. That was before <laughs> this was a member thing. I keep yeah. seeing that come up. So right. Right. just right. so you guys know. Also, you, the deadline is quick approaching to get on this H three H three holiday merch. One hundred percent of the money goes to the crew. Ooh, ooh. You know, Ooh. so what? what's the cutoff here? It's December 5th. Uh, yeah, which I believe is Sunday. Oh, So yeah. it's coming up quick. So if you do want any of this, you be, go to h3shop.com. Should be clear on that, too, that the December 5th cutoff is the last day that they will guarantee it will arrive by Christmas. It's possible it could mm. still come if you order after that, especially if you live in the United States. International, it's probably a stretch yeah. to get there. I think there. that's probably just in the U.S., right. if I have to guess. Do you have so, any intel on which one of these are selling the best? Uh, the highest seller is the one you're looking at right now, there followed very closely by the advent calendar. Those two are oh. are selling like hotcakes. This cakes. one and the... Oh, okay. Cool. Great. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah, those are so cute. 
well, there you go. H2H3Shop.com, 100% to the crew, who we love so well. Oh, yeah. And Teddy Fresh just dropped a new collection yesterday. And unfortunately, this piece, for example, isn't going to come out till next week because the whole world is fucked. Yeah. Supply chain. Yeah. Supply chain, baby. God damn it, Buttigieg. Those ports. Buttigieg! 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 <laughs> <laughs> But next week, you think, right, Ila? I think so, yeah. That set is so cool. <laughs> I love it. The full birth. Oh my fucking god, Cam. What did we get from what, Cameron? What is Cam doing? <laughs> oh, shit. Alfredo <laughs> walking in the bathroom this morning for breakfast? No! <laughs> That's disgusting, bro. No. Don't even fucking joke about that. Because, I, you know what? I'm not even going to say Don't it. Don't even say it. Get that out of here. Pretty funny. No, it was you, Fredo. Fredo, you break. Come on. <laughs> Alfredo. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Yeah, but what you can buy now is this beautiful classic thermal zip hoodie. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's got that thermal inline, which is like, oh. you know, that that really nice thermal material you wear, the long sleeves yeah, and the love so that. that's really cozy and nice. Holiday uh hoodie. Um the marled sweater. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, huh? It's a nice one. I think so. Um, oh God, there's got to be a better way to do this. Um, this one's doing really good. We are the world. We are the world. That's Michael Jackson, right? So maybe not that one. I love it. It's got a like a panel that's knitted with the bears. Yeah. Look at that. There. We are the world. We are the children. Children. Oh, see, why does he got to go there? <laughs> The uh, the ultimate Bob Dylan moment, if you recall. Oh, when he's just like tripping. He doesn't. Out. He doesn't know the words, and he's. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Bobby. Yeah. So, um, did you guys see this, or was Dan covering it with Bob Dylan? No, I think we saw. Mix stitch sweater. Um, ski jacket, beautiful. The restock. Oh, that's a restock from last year. And the this is the shirt I've been wearing a lot. Love it. Oh, there's only the large sizes left in that okay. one. But if you're a big boy or girl, grab that. And then, you know, there's there's this and this and this. Oh, this one people really like. Yeah. It, we've got, we put beads on it. Yeah. It's kind of hard to tell. Or maybe I can open it. Yeah. It's beads, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. What do you think about Bees? that, huh? Beads. Beads? It's in beads, damn it. And the hat I'm wearing right now. That's it. Head on over to teddyfresh.com. And there'll be more next week. Yep. Thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Wonderful, thank thank wonderful. you. All right. We got a lot to get to here today. A lot of fun. A great show. First of all, we talked at great length about Mr. Beast being potentially being sued by the creator, right? All right. Uh, yes. Well, what's interesting is I was scrolling my TikTok feed yesterday. Yeah. And on my TikTok feed came the creator of Squid Games commenting on all these YouTubers huh. recreating it. And this gives us our answer 100%. What do you think of the um, uh, YouTube gamers out there that are creating their own Squid Games? Mm. Why are you going to put copyrighted <laughs> music on this? Like, All right. it's so unnecessary. <laughs> oh, I watched some of it. I loved it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Maybe you have to promote the, the show, too. So. There we <laughs> go. I want more people to do it. <laughs> what do you there you have it. Hey. Hey. Clearance. So perfect answer. Beast. What, uh, love? Love that. Oh, I said that, that that's the perfect answer. It well, is. It's that is the perfect I, I, I answer. Was, I just, and I came upon it just uh, by chance. I love it. He says, I love it. I watch some of it. I hope people do more of it. It promotes the show. It's awesome. He was actually talking about the H3 Squid Game. <laughs> Specifically. <laughs> yeah. He's right. like that out. Mr. Beast guy. He ain't got nothing on the H3 like Squid Game. I don't like that one. Um, oh, should I also give an update about the dinosaur sweater? Oh, yes. So please. today, we made contact with Gary. Yes, Kennedy. so uh, let me give a little background here. 
dinosaur sweater gone but not forgotten lots of controversy yeah. about that people are, are well I, anyway it was a design that uh was taken from this guy gary kennedy's knitting books and we got in touch with them sorry so go ahead Gila. well then today there was um a zoom call with someone on our team and him and he was super down to license it officially and we're probably gonna work more together too so hell yeah we're gonna happy ending yeah we're great probably put ending. it up next <clears throat> week after we you know so we got gary involved and he even he's like you can use my knitting patterns uh what do you mean well what? he's like you can use my work he said you can license my work yes yeah yeah like anything he started sending us like all kinds he of stuff. Said he said he will send nice. us more stuff. I, yeah. I think Let's he, go. he liked the brand. <laughs> Apparently, what's really interesting about this guy is that he made a killing on these knitting books back yeah. in the 90s. Mm -hmm. He retired like super young because apparently he was like, I didn't know people were making so much money on damn knitting books, but <laughs> he's like a knitting god. <laughs> and he just like retired it was he's just like chilling he's not even that old like damn gary yeah he sounds super cool chill great guy sick. love gary sick so happy ending mm -hmm. Definitely. very happy i'm actually so excited <clears throat> so we're gonna I'm put those up in cedar rapids <laughs> that's where he is now yeah, that's where Hillary. he retired dude yeah. cedar rapids he's yeah um, the, so there's been a bit of a drama on leftovers, which you guys haven't seen yet. Zach has been telling us that he's 6'3". Mm -hmm. Zach? He's, he's been telling us all that he's 6'3". Okay. And I don't deny that Zach is a tall man. Mm -hmm. But Hassan says he's 6'4". Mm. And then Zach was like, wow, you're a 3XL, I can't believe you're so big, whatever. He was like... Zach was simping for a for his son, I think. I think we'd be friends, yeah. <laughs> Tall guy energy. Tall guys just stick together yeah, like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I said, Zach, why don't you come over here and stand next to his son? Because yeah. something's not adding up. Well, Zach came and stood next to Hassan, and I was like, Hassan was towering over Zach. <laughs> uh, I, and I was like, if he's six there a picture four, of that? It's on the video. It's on the episode. It'll be on the okay. leftovers, yeah. Okay. So, and I was like, something's not right. Because he's more than an inch taller than you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, my and then I stood next to you, and I was like, you're not even that much taller than me, ultimately. Well, how tall are you? 5'11"? Yeah. I think I'm a little taller than you. Didn't you guys see when we stood face to face? And I was like, not that much taller. Yeah, I saw it. I was surprised. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna comment on anybody's physical appearance after uh, last week. Oh, what, what happened last week? Remember, I got canceled well, then, for saying that you look like I, the same I size as Nick Akata. for calling me a fat <laughs> slob. That you I did. Fuck. That was, basically, not the words you're that like, I, I hate fat people. Not what I said. Not what I said. Dan said, I hate fat people. Didn't and Ethan, happen. You're a fat person. Check the tape. Check the tape. Right. Go off, King. Zach, come over here. Step step over. Step so we're up. we're gonna measure him. We're going to get to the bottom you of this. You actually just measure with a measure Me too. Tape? I'll take my shoes off as well. Hmm. By the way, if for everyone who thinks this is mean, Zach's a tall legend. He's a beautiful man. He's got a perfect body. Don't feel bad. <laughs> There's short people in the world. So, Strider, he, it's okay. You know what? It's like, it's like stolen valor. It's like if you're already tall, you already have the tall... Uh, you already won the lottery on that. Why you got to... You shouldn't have to lie and say, oh, I'm 6'7". When you're actually six two, yeah. you know. All right, but so he, let's do first of all. Let's just stand facing each other. Uh, I'm gonna, but you see, oh, he's yeah, not that much taller than me. I mean, you're obviously taller, but. Wait, here, Ethan. Take, take the hand off from you. Oh. You see, like you're obviously clearly taller, but we're like, treating this like. But you're like two inches taller than me, I would say. All right, so hold this. Let's get it out the measuring tape. I mean, I, I have a size 13 shoe. Okay, um, well, good. I mean, I don't doubt that your cock's huge. So, <laughs> <laughs> if we want to go down that road. Okay. All right. Uh, he's measuring me now. Hi. Hi, A.B. Hello, Hila. Hi. Sorry, Hi, Shredder. Who's the official measurer, though? You I don't know if it should be me, but... 
Here, Zach, put your back to the tape. Okay. So. Wish we had some intent. Oh, wait, you, you gotta get it straight, otherwise yeah. you're gonna add an extra inch to that. Okay, you seeing what I'm seeing? Six one. Well, Motherfucker, you six one! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, last time I was at the doctor, he did say I was 6'3", so the fucker lied to me. He was just being nice. Wait, the doctor? Yeah, the fucking Wait, doctor, the doctor lied to me. I'm still over six foot. I know, that's my point. You're already tall. You're already a tall guy. I was just going you off with a... Uh, flex on us all. What was the final measurement? 6'1". 6'1". Six, six one. Six one. Right, Which is great. I'm content with that. That's us. tall. People, some, my, some girls might say that's a perfect height for a guy. How tall are you? I'm five eleven. Should we should we make sure? Oh, yeah. Okay, well if I'm if I put you two, you throwing shade around here, man. I guess if I, I guess that's only fair, right? <laughs> throwing shade around here. Right, let me toss, toss, you're just tall. Think tall thoughts. Right. Think tall thoughts. Put that heel on the ground. Think tall thoughts. What is this? Think tall thoughts. Let me see. Tall thoughts. What, the, the, He's got it. Mike here. I'll announce it. You're almost six foot. Oh! No way! No, I see the measuring tape be all crooked. <laughs> no, 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 I'll take that. I'll take that. Here you go. I guess I'm taller than I thought, and you're shorter than you thought, huh? How about that? You look at that. My, and I have tiny hands, and you have huge man hands, so... <laughs> it's heighter than everything. But it's a lot when you're dating. I'm just saying, you, it, it's like stolen valor. You're already tall. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> to be fair, I was told I was 6'3", so apologies. All right. You may not have yeah, the, do the doctor once told me I was 7 foot. <laughs> 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 that's interesting, though. I mean, do you wear super thick shoes? No, I wear Vans every day. Okay, that's, that's, that's fair. I wear Vans. Um, yeah. See, six one is kind of astronomical. How does that feel? Does that change your self perception? Not really. I mean, I, I'm always known and will be known as a big guy. A lot of accusations of rigging uh, by AB. <laughs> well, I thought it was five eleven, so if, like I'll take five eleven. Mm -hmm. Recount, Ethan cheat. Well, it wouldn't have Justice been Ethan. Justice for Zach. Wouldn't have been Ethan to be fair. It may have been half an inch off. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever. Crooked, yeah, it's fine. Crooked tape. Rig, I was. I may have been rig. standing on my tippy toes a little bit, <laughs> but just not enough for you to notice. <laughs> you're you're five twelve. You're almost six foot. You're five twelve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? I was um, just. Uh, <laughs> you're deep in thought. <laughs> That's very interesting, Zach. <laughs> Anyone else want to step up? Let's get some true height measurements out here. Pretty interesting. When you, because everybody, I feel I like want this. you want to do it. Yeah. Okay, let's All go. Right. All right. Does pregnancy do anything to your height? No. No. The baby stretch your body out. <laughs> Ela's tall, but there was always a argument between me and Ela, a, pay, a playful jesting between who's taller. I, have you been seeing all those memes people have been doing? Yeah, like the AB poor. ones of making you super. Oh, we should grab some of those. They're fine. Yeah. Um, it's caught on the laptop. All right. All right. This is the. Uh, here, let me get out of the way. Okay, so we're, we're pulling it in. Now, let me. I'm going to make sure she gets this fair shake here. You want to stand on your tippy toes a little bit? No. Okay. Should we go a little bit forward? You, sh you got to go. Okay, um, so here, let me kick this forward a little bit, put it up a little more, you know, more around there. What is that, 60, 70, 69 inches? What does that mean? 5'9". No, she's not 5'9". I think it's more, I'd say she's more 5'10". Five, 5'9 five, and a half. Wait, 5'10"? Five, she's to the right, to the right. Yeah. 9, that's 5'9". Five, yeah, 5'9 five, or 5'10 maybe? 69. Are you standing up as straight as you can? Wait, am I like way taller well, she, than you? She's pregnant, so she's like. You think her body gets compressed by the weight? <laughs> like a fucking. Uh, Sounds scientific. Wait, hold on, hold on. Here, here. Let's stand face to face. Come here. Am I that? Am I that much taller? Oh my god, dude! I feel so yeah. tall lately. I'm a monster. <laughs> <sighs> oh, look how 
fucking tall I am, bro. bro. Okay, sure, anything you want. Look how fucking tall I am, dude. God, bro. Oh, my monster. I'm standing just flat on my heels, bro. What? You have m massive hands. <laughs> For the grew. surgery, right? I grew. I got taller. Right. You did have that surgery. Look you at check my surgery, feet. Dude. I got it was the check my feet. That shit's on the ground, bro. <laughs> Shit. Wow. This thing worked out well for me. It's awesome. Getting fat made me taller. Interesting <laughs> how that works. <laughs> Growing in every direction. A B, you want to do it? No. Are you scared to know the truth? You don't want to offend the short king. Oh, because sorry, of how I said I, I don't want to offend the short. No, I'm just, they don't like uh, the measurements. They say that we're height, uh, judging based on height. What? I'm short. Numerical oh, yeah. value. Is that what you're trying to say? Sure. People yeah. feel bad for being short. I think the, uh, the lens was distorting reality a little bit because <laughs> if you take a look at this. The new trend on the subreddit to edit me is to be in a tiny little short king. <laughs> Nothing wrong with being short king. Short kings pull the fucking mad tail, dude. What are you talking about? Ever heard of Napoleon? AB, your mic's I not on, fucked. apparently. It, it, was, it was a moment ago. A B, people are saying you're 5'2", you're AB, and that's why you don't want to get... I'm actually 5'3". <laughs> that's why you don't want to... People are asking for Olivia's height. I'm 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, no, the thing is, wh I, women have no... No yeah, I've like, I have like. I don't want to be tall. I don't want to be short. I want to be right there. Right there. Right in the middle. Olivia. Hassan told me yesterday that I'm a lot taller than he expected, and I'm just going to go out with that. He said, because when That's he's kind of like a backhanded compliment. Short. That's what isn't I was going to say. Well, no, he's saying when I saw you on camera, I thought you were short. And he goes, no one here is short. And I said, maybe because I have the wide angle. I'm the only one that uses No, AB's the not one. short. I don't think I you're short. I just, I cannot believe how massive Hassan is. It, it's crazy. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, he's actually 6'4. Yeah, no, he's, he's, I mean, he's, but his legs are just... Oh, you actually got the moment? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that, I feel like at that angle, it doesn't even put it into justice, yeah. He's, he's a big guy, like, huge. Big anyway, the episode is great, uh, this weekend, so make sure to catch that. Thank you, thank you, peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love. Okay, that was fun. That's right. The thing is, if I wear shoes, which I never do, I feel like so freaking tall. <laughs> like, you put on two inches easy, and I'm cruising around like 6'1". <sighs> That's pretty sick. Time to get some J's, my dog. I got to get those Robert Downey Jr. shoes where he, like, secretly adds six inches. Have you seen those? Ugh, what? I hate that. They look normal. They're, I don't believe that it looks normal. It does. They're crazy. <laughs> you wear them with long pants. The platform. <laughs> Show me that shit. It's crazy. It literally adds six inches to your height. Like, what? I did a whole surgery for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the miracle bra for men. It's like, you get home, you got to take off the shoes sometime. Is this them? You know what I'm saying? That, yeah, that's a pair of them. You see how deep <laughs> that soul is, bro? That looks like huh. that just looks like the heeled converse yeah, women, for women. Women wear that. But you can tell but you it's can exaggerated. Tell. Oh yeah. There's like an extra. The wait, women wear that? Yeah. It, yeah, and like not too high. Early two thousands or it's something. Obvious. There were oh. converse heels that looked just like that. Yeah. So the, they're like high heels, but they're like stealth. Yeah, they're like wedges. Yeah, they're they're elevator shoes. Oh my God. That's but, another term. Whoa. For them. But it's not like like anybody is trying to hide the. He is. Definitely. Right? Yeah, usually, yeah. There's a lot of people in Hollywood. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't think twice about it if looking at those and, unless I was aware. Because <laughs> they're sneakily add like an extra three inches. Look at these souls, Kim said, I sent this one. I mean, not that. Listen, my thing is you should be confident and beautiful in your own skin. We love everybody. Short kings, skinny kings, fat kings, everybody. We love the bodies. But. We can make fun of Robert Downey because he's a celeb. And also, it's okay to be comfortable in your own skin and be a short king. Now, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I guess it's just that the soul is. It's like an super extra thick. fatty. Yeah. Is he that short? Nah. He wore them a lot when they were doing the Civil War movie, when it was him versus Captain America. I wonder if the Marvel made him do it. I, I wonder because Captain America towers him, Chris Evans, so that kind of made them face to face whenever they would do like the interviews and stuff. 
Uh, Chris Evans height. See, this There's this is just the interest character to come back. <laughs> yeah, this is just interesting inside baseball stuff. I mean, Chris Evans is six foot. He's not super tall, but you know, tall. Uh, Robert Downey is six five nine. Is that with or without miracle shoes? Yeah, hard to say, right? <laughs> That's short king right there, dog. Five nine is not that bad. It's not bad at all. Come on, don't short, don't tall shame people. You uh, uh, six one. Okay, okay, just, just throwing on my. Opinion. I'm just covering my bases. Five nine is the average height of an American male, so he's actually right on target. I take that back. Thank you. I apologize for his remarks. <laughs> on his behalf, um, we are uh, already at break time. Are you freaking serious, bro? I am. I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Wait, what is this one? Him and uh, Jude Law look the same height. Right? So what's happening here? How tall is Jude Law? Compare their souls. Okay. <laughs> Cam is going CSI on fucking Robert. <laughs> no, it's funny. Yo, look at this shit, bro. Yeah, that's, Wait, that's the Okay. Oh, I didn't know they did this. What a yeah. trickery. <laughs> is it flat inside or no. goes down? No, it's yeah. wet. Oh, that's got to be so uncomfortable, eh? <laughs> I imagine, like, more comfortable than heels, but right. obviously less comfortable than sneakers. So, down, so Downey's walking around in high heels all day. Yeah, he's looking like a 2000s uh, Converse <laughs> Holy shit, kid. what a snack. <laughs> 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 what a snack he is. Yeah, the heel difference is pretty well. Oh, Jude Law is 5'10". Okay, let's move on. I thought Jude Law was super tall. All right, geez, I'm getting caught in the height vortex, apparently. <laughs> oh, Cam's sending more. Oh, God, I got to look at them. Oh, Wait, here's the unedited version. Super tall. Downey's like 5'. He's like 6'5". Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Sorry. Let's just fucking move on with the show. And thank our sponsors real fast. Thank you to Raycon. By now, you've probably seen about a thousand gift guides for the holiday season. Gifts for moms, gifts for guys, gifts for neighbors, cousins, dogs. You can study all those gift guides and shop at tens of different places. Or you can start shopping at Raycon and get a gift everybody will love. Raycon wireless earbuds. These are great earbuds. They're comfortable. They're slick. It sounds great. Well, what else can you say? What else you want from your earbuds? Raycon gives you amazing audio quality wherever you go, whether you use them to pump up, wind down, work out, or just go to work. They'd be useful for anyone on your list, even better for you. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands. And with their latest model, you get three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best. With just the right amount of bass, you've got pure mode, balanced mode, bass mode, and Raycons are available in five stylish colors, so you can pick a perfect one for everyone on your list. With free shipping and returns, gifting is easier than ever. Yeah, and they're, they've got all these, like, little ear adapter molds. Mm -hmm. Real nice, real soft. Oh, there you go. Look at that, eh? Snug. The holidays are coming up faster than you think, and now's the time to knock that gift list and avoid the last-minute sh uh, shipping scramble. Especially because right now my listeners will get 15% off site-wide with code HOLIDAY. At buyraycon.com slash h3ad. Go to buyraycon.com slash h3ad and use the code HOLIDAY TODAY to get 15% off your entire Raycon order. Buyraycon.com slash h3ad. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ooh. thank you. i smelling those calzones. Mm hmm. Do mm. you know about the calzones, Ela? No. <laughs> You're going to find out. <laughs> um, thank you to Mint Mobile. This holiday season, the best deal in wireless can only be found at Mint Mobile. Right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile and buy any three-month plan, you'll get another three months for free. And as the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone, phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. Dan? Dan uses Mint Mobile. I do. I switched from one of the big boys in town, and uh, you know him. You hate them. Yep. You get the same thing for a fraction of the price. Can well, you believe it's the that? It works the same. It's literally the it's same. It's literally the same thing. And it's just way cheaper. You know? Um, 
I love Mint Mobile because, you know, it's super... Well, Dan loves Mint Mobile because it's super fast service and it's without the high cost of other providers. That's right. That's right. That's right. You don't even have to think about it, dude. <laughs> best uh, Mint Mobile's best offer of the year is here for a limited time. Buy any three-month plan and get three months for free by going online only and limiting tradi- traditional costs of retail... Mint Mobile uh, f- passes significant savings on to you, and all plans come with unlimited talk and text, high-speed data, delivered on the lar- nation's largest 5G network. You see, that's the thing they don't tell you. These guys all use the same network. Mm-hmm. Or there's like two networks, or maybe three, but no, it's like they're all the same main carriers, so it's the same shit. With Mint Mobile, choose the amount of monthly data that's right for you. And stop paying for data that you never use. You can use your phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. Switch to Mint Mobile. Get the premium wireless service starting at just 15 freaking dollars a month, dude. 15. Uh, for a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three months for free by going to mintmobile.com slash h3. That's mintmobile.com slash h3. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month. At mintmobile.com slash h3. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All right. It's Let's get into some good music. stuff. So. I'm getting into some good stuff right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So. All right. What's what the I'm deal saying? with Yeah. That? So Cameron's been manifesting. <laughs> um, he's been obsessed with. The, <laughs> <laughs> my boy Cameron. He's been obsessed with calzones. <laughs> <laughs> he keeps talking about these buffalo chicken calzones. And what kind of Italian puts buffalo chicken in a calzone? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, Sam brought it upon herself to make it. Every- oh, my God. And you basted these? Yes. Holy shit. Wait, Look you at made this. it. Yeah, made Sam made it. these. Whoa. So if you guys ever doubted manifesting was real, yep. Cam manifested this shit. Wow. Buffalo chicken calzone Cam made by so Sam. powerful. I'm gonna just take a bite here. I got a veggie one. Epic. Oh my god. Choose on. What is in this? Buffalo hmm? Buffalo chicken. Buffalo. It's so fucking good. Wow. Cam's joining us. We Wait, love you, you Sam. Thank one? you. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, Sam, what the fuck? Thank you, Sam. This is fucking amazing. How'd you make this? Yeah, tell us about the process. Here, sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. <laughs> so, I make the dough. The dough has to rise for a while, and then while it's rising, I just make the filling. And then I just, you know, throw it all together. And then it's, I made like a herb butter for the top. Oh, God. Unbelievable. Does she cook like this at home, Ian? Yeah, she's a wizard. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. This is amazing. Oh, it blows my mind. She's she's so good. Holy fuck, bro. I feel like it's worth saying that this is Sam's second time making a calzone and it's a masterpiece again. Like the first time was last weekend and it was it was awesome and it's just as good now. So thank you very much, Sam. Oh my god. Oh, so that's what was in Ian's story when I thought that you guys went and bought it. I didn't realize Sam made it. Wow. Sam doesn't buy food. <laughs> it's a masterpiece. I gotta say, not as good as the peppermint mash, though. Not as good. Ugh. I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you even remind me of that? <laughs> that was like haunting me for days afterwards. I would just like get like acid flashbacks to the fucking peppermint mashed potato bullshit. When I brushed my teeth, it was a little bit jarring right. for the first yeah. time. <laughs> totally. So, by the way, let's talk about some... <clears throat> Some calf, calf slash, and also our favorite Keemstar. Um, there's so there's a lot of follow up from the we did this mega lawsuit episode. By the way, I saw a lot of people saying that maybe I should make an H three video about it. What do you guys think about that idea? I love that idea. I think All it's right. a really good idea. I think it's yeah. time. Really, everyone likes it, huh? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It would get so many people talking about it in the first place. I think, especially since it would be like a comeback video yeah. too. Well, it's not a comeback video. I'm not making videos there. Go but it's like the you came back for a second and then you're going to go away again. Yeah, exactly. You know? Just like quick, like, got your hat, and then you're gone again. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> you guys think I should do that? The thing is, um... Maybe I'll do it over the... I don't know what is it, but I guess those videos have more power for some reason. Well, short, more consumable made a three-hour podcast. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like, nobody's going to post that to, like, Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be those videos would get posted to our videos. Right. Go to the top of the homepage, and then media picks it up, and other kinds of people see it. Right. Okay. Interesting. Maybe I should do that. Got to think of how to make it, like, funny and entertaining and stuff. Maybe it's a project for over the break, Hila. Mm -hmm. A solo project. Like the old days. Yep, yep. Fuck. One last ride. I mean, <laughs> shit. If not now. Hmm. I mean, there's so much to say about Ryan. I wonder if we should have someone play Ryan in reenactments of his greatest crimes. Fourth lawsuit incoming. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll clear it with the lawyers, you know. But, like, if we had someone playing Ryan, maybe we could hire a Craigslist guy who looks like him. I actually know someone that would be really good, but he's in jail right now. Harvey? Oh, right. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. You got me, dude. Well, maybe me. they'll make an exception. I don't know. <laughs> We can apply, <laughs> see if we can get a... a specialized, uh... Temporary leave. Yeah, temporary leave for Harvey. Yeah. He's not a danger to society. <laughs> he might have to be cuffed in the video in the reenactment, but... <laughs> I'm gonna get, like, a really fat redhead guy. He's just a total man. <laughs> the chewing. Yeah. It's pretty bad. You gotta choose between chewing and talking. <laughs> I refuse First. to choose. Shred was really wanting this. There you go. The music, the music bed helps. It'll kind of drown out some of the. Uh... Chew as loud as you want. <laughs> Stop Be careful. All right, I'm sorry. Andrew Santino. People are saying. <laughs> oh, Andrew! Oh my God. It's not a bad suggestion. But Andrew Santino's like handsome. Oh, we could give him prosthetics to make him all <laughs> fucked up. A coming back of family news. That would be really fun. Me father come forward, man in the water. <laughs> Like a judge where it's like, did you really <laughs> falsify a document accusing your ex-president of... Yeah, president yeah. of the company. Of the, yeah. Right. Of SH. And I'd be like, oh, 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 oh whoops. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just to pick... He's, he's a Mario brother. Yeah. <laughs> no. Whoops. Just like an Italian plumber. Wait, Kevin Ryan, did you really just get... Did you? Are you driving with alcohol in your system again while your license on on probation? Whoa, whoa, Oops! Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did it again. <laughs> He's so cool. Chet Hanks, Bobby Chet. Lee playing the judge. Oh. All star cast. That's huh? great. I'm just taking suggestions. I'm taking for suggestions this. from the uh, chat. C man will be the bailiff. Why don't we get um, Chris? Uh, C man. C -Man. <laughs> Why don't we get Chris uh, Pratt to play uh, Ryan? I just get him to play all the roles, really. I yeah. feel like if anyone's going to play Ryan, you should play Ryan. That's true. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. what we need, man. Yeah. Do we have a role for Vin Diesel? Oh. <laughs> Was the babysitter that didn't allegedly get paid? That's just Vin <laughs> Diesel in a wig. <laughs> he I'll was the what. lead in that movie where he played Oh, yeah, a right, the pacifier. Mm -hmm. Family. 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 Oh, no. family. 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 I'm gonna hesitate to do it because I'm always off and delayed. We love that for you. Yo, Vin Diesel, some of the Fast and Furious movies were done under relativity media. Someone save me. Um... Yeah, I gotta think about that. I really want to do it really good, so it's entertaining, you know? Sure. It's not just me bitching and being like, this guy's a douche. Although those videos do well, too. <laughs> I already did that for three hours, though, so I don't know if there's any new information there. Content Nuke did really well, and that was, what, like, 25 minutes? A Content Nuke on Ryan Kavanaugh? 
Ooh. I mean, it's not really because it's, he doesn't no. have content, so it's it's sort of a different. But, but it, I, I just mean that uh, structure and and sort of tone and everything, people really enjoyed. And yeah, I mean, what they were like thirty minutes, roughly. The first one was like forty-five minutes. Was it really it? that long? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe it's a bad example then. It just got age restricted, or well, got like mature rated. So right. Yeah, forty-six minutes. All right, never mind. All right, I think I'll start working on a script. So I guess look forward to that. Round of applause. Um, so guys, there's some updates on Ryan Kavanaugh. We talked at great length about it, and I've seen the complaint. Emily Baker did a great video on it. Shout out to her family. I watched the whole thing. Last yeah, what, what was your impression? Um, well, I felt more confident for you, having you know gone over in detail the entire complaint. Um, you know, I. I you had explained what the scope of the lawsuit was. It, it, it really is purely restricted to this whole thing with the Variety article and everything. Mm. And, I mean, I'm not a lawyer, but the impression that I got from her and just, you know, I guess just a layperson's impression is that his complaint really is with Variety. It should not be with you. Um, you know, if he feels that that article is defamatory, then that his issue is with them, not with somebody who's just repeating it. And what I thought was interesting, too, is in the lawsuit, they cite, like, so many examples of us talking about it, and not a single one is it not predicated by as written in Variety, alleged, you know what I mean? Like, I have never right. claimed Ryan is running a Ponzi scheme. Right. Never. Yep. How would I know that? It's, you are just repeating what is out there. And so, you know, uh, it, when things go to court, anything can happen. So uh, that's what people always say. So I, I guess, you know, you can't feel 100% confident about it. But it, it does seem like he has an uphill battle proving that what you did was defamation. Yeah, but the thing is, like, if you read his complaint, you know they're looking for war. So it's going to be... Right. It's going to be bitter. <clears throat> And there's certain stuff in there which they included just to be douches, which I'll read. Mm -hmm. But if you guys want to read my full statement, if you go to, if you type into Google, Ryan Kavanaugh, which I suggest doing that instead of the whole name because oh. it's so long. We're at the top. Oh, no, no, that's, no, that's not it. Sorry about that. Well, we're, we're at like four. Here, let me do it incognito. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see where it is. No, but there's been a lot of movement, which clearly is, you know, Google recognizing that this page is relevant mm. to his name. <laughs> and again, what are they going to go sue Google if you have a problem with that? You know what I mean? I don't I don't control their algorithm. Right. Like, what the fuck? Google, do you know how, how closely Google protects their alg algorithm? It's like their most prized asset. Let's Google some ISIS videos. <laughs> <laughs> when you did I say that? that? <laughs> you really want me to do that? Let's go. I when? mean, he was the boss. I don't know when did I say that and why. Yeah, so here it is. And then obviously enjoy the website and everything on here. But if you go to statement and click statement, you can read my whole statement. With citations, or well, I guess we're gonna add links. Love, you did all this with all the embedding and everything. It looks great. Yeah, yeah, love, love. Shout out to love. Our, he's our webmaster. Our webmaster. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So, if you guys want to read this statement in full, I'm I'm trying to go to the homepage. Yeah, you should talk about the tweet links that I added. So, if you go to home, or wait, you no, want the it's statement? In the statement. Yeah. Yeah. So and, there's. Uh, we first have that one. Ryan Kavanaugh, one of Hollywood's most prominent film financiers, was arrested for drunk driving, speeding, and driving with a suspended license in October. That was by the New York Times, right? A direct quote from their article. Yeah. So you can tweet that out. Oh, it did like auto. Oh. Oh, I'm not logged You're in. You're incognito, yeah. so it's yeah, not like that. It automatically but... fills in uh, the tweet. Oh, and... that's so Yeah, so you can good. just hit that tweet right there. <laughs> and at the bottom, you have another one that shares this article. There we go. 
Ryan Cal- uh, Fantastic. Oh, love. so you sharing the statement. Th- that and one that, is the main one. That's right. very good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want to click this and share the article, that would help educate the masses. Um, and it's just... It's just user-friendly uh, website widgets, right? I mean, so yeah, it is. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Good progress there on the website. It's coming along really nicely. Oh, we got a Ryan Kavanaugh tweet. What is this? This yeah, I, I just found this one. This is pretty beautiful. Pretty ironic. America is built on free speech, right? <laughs> <laughs> so people should embrace others' opinions. Even if wow. I think that you look like Harvey Weinstein, you really haven't embraced that opinion. Wait, you're logged into the podcast right now. You should retweet that. <laughs> <laughs> Quote tweet. <laughs> what about the opinion that you look like Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay, but there's one secret tweet. There's <laughs> one tweet, by the way. Can you do me a favor and retweet that from my phone? <laughs> okay. But there's one coming up that we found that is so good. And some people discovered it and were commenting on it. And I was really hoping he wouldn't erase it. And it looks like he didn't. And I'm so fucking happy he didn't. Not yet. This is Ryan Kavanaugh, the great mind. Someone asked him in 2016, August 12th. Um... And just to give some, just to give some, like, uh, setting to this, this was when Me Too started happening, right? So, like, uh, it was after several accusations started to come out in the media about him. I would say it was before the, like, massive uh, coverage, really. When was began. the first accusation? Because I want to be accurate. Uh, I know that there was one... Prominent one in 2015, which is obviously prior to this. Um, 2017 is when his whole empire started to collapse under the weight of it. So this was between those two events. But it was certainly after uh, he had been accused of some... You're sure about that? I want to make sure we're... Well, yeah, I uh, make... in 2015... Who, uh, yeah, well, let's put, let, let, who accused him in 2015? Tell you right now. It was an Italian model from New York. Okay, good. So this is out there. So ju- so this Twitter user asks Ryan Kavanaugh, with respect, do you consider Harvey and Bob Weinstein friends of yours? Okay. Ryan Kavanaugh responds. He says, brilliant creative minds. Then he specifically mentions Harvey by name. Never underestimate Harvey. He is a survivor. <laughs> Very unfortunate choice of what word. do you like about what do you like about <laughs> survivor? Very the survivor. unfortunate. He's choice the of survivor. Words there. What is the surviving? These accusations being leveled against him. So I'm going to retweet think, this. No, wait. You think that's what he means? What else could he mean? He's a survivor of what? Uh, uh, you know the ups and downs of the industry. Yeah, because. This is before me too, no? Mm-mm. Yeah, well, again, th- there was an article in the New York Times in 2015 uh, about Harvey Weinstein, so that was the beginning of it. Also, we okay. should say that it was widely considered an open secret in Hollywood yeah, that insane. Harvey Weinstein was a total I don't care about open secrets. Creep. I care about this woman had already made a public accusation. Yes, it, New York Times article 2015... Uh, was sort of the the beginning of the so what torrent of so the accusations against Harvey him. Weinstein, the biggest, most famous kingmaker movie producer of all time. What could he be referring to when he calls him a survivor? Again, I, if you want to give him the benefit of the doubt, it would be the ups and downs. Okay, so of so I'm not going to say. Here's business. what I'm going to say. But obviously, using that term "survivor" in this it's context just, is yeah. huge cringe. So, yeah. well, because yeah. you would call the victims of right. essay exactly. survivors, right? Right. And I'll say something like, "Love to see kings supporting kings," or what's a better response? Do you guys think? Because that's fine. I mean, I'm not saying anything. He's a king supporting a king. <laughs> I, I I think it speaks for itself. I think you could just retweet it without comment and uh but, so? Yeah. Hmm. You're okay, Dan. 
here's the timeline. This is actually put in context for us. Sorry, I gotta finish chewing. <laughs> Blame Sam. Okay, so 2015. Italian model reported him to the NYPD. Right. And then in another one in 2015. 2016. This tweet took place August 12, 2016. This was, yeah, this, these allegations in 16 were shortly after that tweet, the 2016. He didn't ones. erase it, by the way. He could have erased it. Yeah. But Dan's right. 2017, uh, October, is when New York Times made an article, and that's where things started really. That's when it, like, really yeah. fell apart for him. Mm -hmm. um, now, who knows if Ryan was aware of the previous accusations or not? We, we, we don't know. I mean, I'm sure he would say he wasn't. He thinks Harvey's a survivor. We know that. <laughs> right. Bruh. <laughs> we have entered the choose zone, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. Um, a lot of people in the chat are saying just retweet, no quote tweet. Just retweet. I think you should say, if you don't believe in yourself, who are you going to believe in? <laughs> Or love yourself first. Because <laughs> he is supporting himself <laughs> in really that tweet, funny. obviously. I'm looking at the man, man in, in the, the mirror. mirror. Ooh. <laughs> so retweet. So here, give me my phone. I'll just retweet. No comment added. Yeah. No Maybe lunch. I'll make a comment underneath it, like King supporting Kings. That can't be defamatory. He's literally, I'm calling him a king. Best right. of the best, somebody said. <laughs> best uh, of the best. <laughs> in the, uh, chat. <laughs> That's pretty funny, too. You guys believe this tweet, though? How fucking crazy is it's that? It's pretty cringe. It's pretty cringe. That one's really good, too. The America is built on free speech. Wait, why am I not seeing it on my feed? You're blocked? He's bl you're blocked, I think. Yeah, because you're blocked. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucked up. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Really? If you, if you quote tweet it with the podcast account and then retweet that. Mm. Right, you should be able to Wait, see really? That. That's pretty high level. Antics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try that. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Hacking Twitter. King, uh, just, well, I have to say something. King supporting Hollywood King. Hollywood producer things. What? Just retweet. Hollywood producer things only or something? <laughs> no, I don't know. Just Hollywood producer things. You are who your friends are. I'll just are. say Ryan Kavanaugh thinks Harvey is a survivor. That's yeah. factual, dry. There's literally like yeah. no. Okay, I like that. That's like, I it's like that. literally just a reinterpretation of what, a rewording of what he said. Yeah. Ryan Kavanaugh says Harvey Weinstein says Harvey Weinstein is a survivor. You okay with that, Ela? I mean, I I think just retweeting is fine. We did, but I. Uh, <laughs> the thing is that we're doing trickery, because I can't r retweet it from my account unless we. How about just like hashtag tweets that aged poorly? Okay, we're good now. Kings supporting kings. That one I'm not sure about. How can that be defamatory? Well, Wait, if, it's if, not defamatory, but I don't know. Maybe it's just not, not that sure good. About that one. Yeah. What okay, kings supporting kings? Don't yeah. don't quote tweet from your account, because then it won't show the original tweet. If that makes sense. Uh, oh, <laughs> that's so interesting that you know. All yeah, that. you need to just retweet it. Okay, well, that's so that's what happened to what's its name. The Benzo dude. On <laughs> Jordan? Then you just yeah. quote tweet yourself? Yeah. Great. It, Done. So the original one. So then it's yeah. just a retweet, Ela. All right. Yeah. Here's the original tweet. <laughs> Pretty interesting stuff. I wonder what else is in his twi Twitters. I mean, we have him. I mean, damn. That shit's pretty good. Hey, Somebody said, are we going to workshop the title next of the episode? <laughs> <laughs> Harvey, I mean, well, we could go with, I think Harvey <laughs> Weinstein lands you an instant yellow. <laughs> yeah.
Unfortunately. <laughs> Would be a good title, though. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, he loves him. He calls him brilliant. Give him a big old kiss on the head, man. He loves Harvey. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't. I think that's a fair statement that he loved, or at least loved Harvey. He kissed his old nasty. I don't kiss. I, I, by the way, I don't. I don't go around just smooching people on the head, ever. I mean, just give you a big like other than my son, you know, heart like heart like Ryan Kavanaugh, Harvey Weinstein. If you look at these photos of them together, yeah, we worked together for years. You've never smooched me. Like <laughs> this is this is love Not and resentful. adoration. That's. What do you know? It's our web, our... <laughs> this is our subreddit. <laughs> I mean, like, when have you ever kissed someone on the dome like that? Especially an oily, greasy troll like RV. I'll kiss the guys and the beautiful women nope. and them. I'll give you a big, beautiful kiss. <laughs> oh, boy. I learned, Hassan taught me that Harvey Weinstein had, like, a mangled genitals. Yeah, we. What does that which mean? Which is, I guess, part of his pathology. No, like his genitals were like mm, deformed, the gangrene, and, like, on gangrene, his dick, for real, like super, like huh. just. I don't even. I can't even imagine. So I would Google gangrene dick, but yeah, probably. <laughs> Maybe I'll just look for my own. I won't put it on screen. Oh God, you Gang. really want to see that? Well, I'm curious what they, what you know. Hi, I'm Dick Tip. Green, green <laughs> penis. <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't know you could get green, green in your penis. How what is oh, it? oh my god, wait, <laughs> what? Wait, you guys can see that? No, I looked it up also. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I, oh, okay. I seriously looked for like a millisecond. I did not pull that up. I will watch surgery videos. Yeah. And I feel a little bit upset so about what, what I just saw. Like, what apparently. the hell? Okay. <laughs> Looks like he was attacked by a fucking shark. Dude, I would say shoot me in the head. <laughs> this is fucking horrible. Out of everything we've looked up, that gaping assholes, this is by far the worst. That can't be. Why do you still have it up? I, I, cl it. I closed it. I'm fascinated. No, we don't I'm have it. Grossed out. <laughs> I closed it. No, Love can see it on AP's screen over there. Both of you youngins, stop everyone's, looking. Everyone's saying crotch rot. <laughs> Definitely, that's Literally. what it looks like. It looks like he has a flesh-eating virus on his dick. Oh. By the way, so this is this is a uh, listen to this, Hila. The disgrace that was traumatizing. Well, and I'm, yeah, so they thought it was part of his pathology that like he was expressing um, his like anger on these women in that way and make forcing them to deal with that. Pretty fucked. Very fucked. <sighs> the dis listen to this. The disgraced movie mogul's deformed genitals is the result of a life-threatening bacterial infection known as uh, Fournier's gangrene. Crotch rot. <laughs> what? So he, yeah, he had gangrene. So this is it well known? Yeah. It was discovered in the, during the trial, right? One of the girls testified and then it became like a... Oh my god. Yeah, she said she felt bad for him because of... Oh her. yeah, she said she felt bad after she saw his penis. Just looks like a like a perpetual open wound. <laughs> like that so must be very. These painful. are horrible. Some of them just look yeah, like I'm someone away. took a shotgun straight to their sack. I spent a lot of time on Rotten.com as a kid. I, I've had my share. I think I'll be uh, setting this one out. <laughs> Nothing will ever compare to what me and you saw that one day on E Fucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing will ever beat that. That fucked me up, all, up for the rest for of the life. day. Yeah, for life. for life, maybe even. Uh, can you elaborate? A bit? It was a woman in a stiletto, a really high, sharp stiletto. Oh, you talked about this. Yeah, we did talk about it. Ah. And I don't she even stomped hear it. on his member, and it went through. Yeah. Like she was stomping on it, and he was like, "Oh yeah," like they were into it, but then it busted through, and then, dude, that was not a good situation. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. You done describing it? I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Were you plugging your ears? Yeah, I, I just don't even want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think everyone in the chat just looked up crotch or whatever it's called? Gangrene. Based off of what I'm seeing in the chat, yes. A large majority. Let's look of at Google <laughs> Analytics tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gangrene penis is uh, off the charts. Some, some marketing person somewhere is like, there's a huge market here. Uh-oh. We got to get on this gangrene penis craze. 
Gen Z is really into <laughs> CNN, <up>. the <laughs> local news. The kids' latest craze is gangrene penis. <laughs> Okay, so moving on. Anyways. <laughs> yeah, moving on with peace and love. Um, we have a lot of great Cav Cav updates today. <sighs> Delete me from this conversation. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, Shaq. Well, so this one, Shaq Shaquille O'Neal sent me this. Psych. Got funny. him. Fight. Wow. Funny. No, no laughter for that, you huh? You tricked me, man. I thought that was funny. <laughs> got me, man. <laughs> Um, let's see. So Cav Cab's post, he posted this. If you know anything about Instagram, this is like the dumbest post. Nobody cares. It doesn't mean it's just horrible, right? Got 58,000 likes. Pretty sweet. People really are engaged with this content. But his yeah, post right. from the day before, or, or... This was uh, after. An, an hour later, or a few hours later, 26 likes. <laughs> Hmm, that seems organic. Maybe those 55,000 people just went to sleep or something. Yeah, they didn't see. Weird hour. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, well then tell me what you think about this one. <laughs> I'm not making any accusation. I'm simply putting what's publicly available. Check this out. Do the math on this, okay? So this post... Okay, hold on. This, this post has 29,000 likes on it. But it only has 2,106 views. Hmm. How's that happen? What does that um, mean? I would call that um, weird. <laughs> yeah, that is weird. You're right. I would call that a uh, fraud. I, John, I, we not, those are not that. my words. We would never. No, no I just find it. <laughs> those are never not my say words. That. Maybe they're like time travelers. But I do wonder how it's possible to get 29,000 likes on a post. And yet only 2,106 people watch it. Curious. Family. 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 Stop. Family. <laughs> well, we got to put a good end to it because when we stop yeah. at wrong times. Right. Yeah, do the choir director. So how should I, how should I convey it in a way that and loves stop? Like that? Yeah, they go it's like, just love has to see like, it. He was afraid yeah. of that happening. That's exactly what oh. happened. We all stopped, and then love was just like family. <laughs> family. 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 Stop! Thank you. <laughs> well, that'll work. Uh, this one is so weird, bro. Love found this one, and I just, I still don't know. If this really trailer, love, you want to talk about this one? Um... What are we talking about? The NFT, trailer <laughs> NFT. All oh, right, yeah. So I guess what's his name? Bobby, Bobby something. He's he's uh, employed by Trailer, I do believe. He you do this believe? The other day. Let's make sure here it's, on this. Well, I said that because I am sure, but I'm not legally sure. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> well, you should say something like, um, you should. My say. understanding is that he is affiliated with Trilla. Okay. Is that, is that good enough? <laughs> I don't know. Bless you. Well, that, yeah, that is good enough. Because yeah. you're saying that's your understanding. Your understanding could be wrong. Yeah. But, well, just Google so, his name. Is he, uh, what's his full uh, name? Wait, I, I wasn't prepared to... <laughs> you, you, you talk about it, and I'll find his name. I don't know shit about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't know we were going to bring this wait, up. Wait, what happened about. to your screen? Oh my god, it's flipped. We're talking about chiller and my shit Oh no, <laughs> not again. Well, here. I, I can fix this. Uh-huh, almost. 90 more degrees. Okay. Ugh, it's so flipped. Hang on, I can fix this. <laughs> uh -uh. So anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> I was saying, this is almost too insane to... Th I just, I have... I'm doubting it because it's so crazy. Oh, so he's actually owner and chief at Trilla, whatever that means. And Own, you're sure that he's chief. the one that made this? No, he shared it. Okay, he shared it. So show me where he shared it. I just want to show the paper trail. It was. So here's this guy, story, Bobby Sarn. He has Triller, Triller Fight Club, all this shit. Okay, so he's obviously associated. Yeah. And, and then. 
This is insane. Wait, this this is this is insane. So just bear with us as we establish the facts of the, of this here. Here is his, he has an account on Triller apparently. Yeah. He must be crushing it. Four hundred views. Yep. Triller's off the rails, bro. Let's watch one of his four hundred views. Oh, I can't listen. He's got music. No. Okay. So here he is. Okay. Hang on. So. Here he is. This is Triller. Oh my God! It is real. Yeah. Wait till you see this. What I'm is it? fucking <laughs> flabbergasted. <laughs> this is Triller's main Twitter account. <clears throat> so unless they were hacked or something, you know. <laughs> which seems unlikely because they. Here's a screenshot of him sharing it on his story as well. Wait, they did they tag the NFT artist? What is the, who did they tag here? <laughs> oh. Excuse me, I just coughed right into that fucking mic. Did he come? Because, like, who did he tag here? Is he the artist? I just want to make sure we get it straight before I make any statement I mean, here. Yeah, I guess that's what they're saying. So it's possible that, that they did work with the artist on this. No? They work with some artists, yeah, I guess, yeah. Well, what it is, so we know it's official. So why don't you explain it, love? Yeah, so on this website, there's a bunch of famous NFTs that's on the normal blockchain made by real artists. But when we go on this website, uh, the owner or the creator says that it's Triller who created them. So it's either a bad website design or they're claiming they made something that they didn't make, if that makes sense. Huh. Mm. Can you, well, there's like really famous ones like, uh, I don't know, how the fuck do I look? Okay, here. This one, buy now for 1.5 million. Good deal. Yeah. <laughs> but can you not see it on the blockchain? You can see if it's deal. owned or who it's created by, right? Yeah, I can check that now. Sorry, uh, I wasn't prepared to do this. Oh, it's in my document. I thought you were. That's okay. I had no clue. So, um,. This is a famous NFT, right? It's one of these stupid for some board, reason. board apes. Is anyone in the market for a $1.5 million <laughs> um, <laughs> fucking dumbass? It's not, it doesn't even look good. It looks bad. It looks stupid. I tend to agree with you. Okay, whatever. Maybe we're not ready to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't even understand what we're yeah, trying to say here. Yeah, I don't understand so far, so... <laughs> So it's trillernfts.com. Well, apparently. Yo, real quick. This is big news. I actually that one that 1.5 million dollar NFT. I just copped it. <laughs> Got it for free. Let's put it back on the blockchain. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's put it back up for one million. I'm rich, motherfucker. <laughs> I just fucking lifted this right off of their website. Use your uh, gamer chair hack, right? Now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes, something. Something we could talk about that's kind of funny, even though we have no information on it. <laughs> I, I did find this uh, archived website. If I, I went back a couple months, and I found this archive. If you show it on the screen. Yeah, it's on the screen. A Triller NFT for 10 million USD <laughs> by now price. And it seems to be the fight <laughs> that, if I'm not mistaken... Got us in trouble. No, it's another fight. Oh, it's a, that's the earlier one with Jake Paul. Bid now that's to own the one-of-a-kind one. NFT of Jake Paul's unforgettable knockout punch of Nate Robinson. One Stop of, it! One of the most talked about and controversial sport and cultural events of 2020. Offer also includes really? the first ever NFT future offered to public. Winning bidder will also own the last 30 seconds of the upcoming Jake Paul versus Ben Askren fight. Headlining the April 17th thriller. This is so stupid. Oh Buy now. God. Buy now. $10 million. Current bid, $2,600. Wait, did, so did someone actually win this? Well, somebody bid $2,600 for it, evidently. Hmm. They got a bargain on that buy now. I see. <laughs> so does that mean they own the fight that they're suing for? <laughs> the person who got this NFT? No, it doesn't. Sadly, NFTs don't transfer ownership or anything. That's unfortunate. 
Yo, somebody's that's already that's offering me 420 FUPA coins for the fucking NFT. You're going to have to go higher than that, my dude. I own a fuck ton of FUPA coin, man. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You, did that's you, right. You were an early investor. Yeah. I think it skyrocketed or maybe it went down. I don't know. I haven't checked. Okay, whatever. Sorry. That was a tangent. Whatever. Maybe you guys can give more intel on this Triller NFT. It, they look oh, yeah. like the exact same, but if I don't know if they collaborated with the artist or not or what's going on here. But these are like famous I'll, NFTs. Yeah, I'll look into that for next, next That week, were for reposted sure. to their website. I mean, maybe they bought the stupid monkey and then they're just reselling it? Well, on OpenSea, the monkey is at like over 250K. And then on Triller, it's a different name and a different amount. This is buy now for... For one point five yeah. million dollars. Okay, what's this one? <laughs> Look this one up. The Pirate Baby, Cyber Kong two seven four eight. That seems like so specific. Do they own this or? What is Chat saying? Is anyone? They're mostly me? just bidding on my NFT They're now. Just, oh coin. fuck! Everyone just wants to buy. Yeah, I got. We're up to four eighty. Keep that going, people. Get that up Actually, there. Actually, hold on now. Hold on. I'm gonna fuck. I fucking own this shit now, boy. Let's oh, go. No! <laughs> this is mine, fuckers. <laughs> this is my shit now, bitch. <laughs> okay, so I found the ID for the original. This is mine, fuckers. <laughs> You're gonna get sued for that. I'm not just playing. <laughs> go ahead, love. So the first ID I sent in chat there. Yeah. Is for the one on the trailer trailer's website. Yeah, and the other one is for the official one. It is so different. Definitely so they have different, different IDs, which is the whole yeah. point of the NFT. That's the I whole mean, point. Yeah. I'm just so confused. So this is for sure different things on the blockchain. So that's <laughs> wow, that was fast. Cam, you cooked that up quick, boy. Just use that as my shot. For Dan now. has turned into a bored ape. Yep. Just anytime I'm talking, you can just cut to that. Okay, so as far as our understanding goes, based on our bit of research, it has a different blockchain ID than the real one. Mm. Yep. Now, what the fuck is going on here? Have you been able to find Triller's NFT wallet? It should be easy to mm. find, right? Yeah. Here's the collection ID. Like, what's there? By the way, if you guys want to bid on my uh, pirate baby... I'm opening the Fupa coin. Hold on, hold on. You're kind of you're steamrolling. My, I, I got an open uh, auction going on right now. This is my Fupa baby. I'm changing the name. And you can bid. Starting bid is at a hundred thousand Fupa coins. So. Safe Moon's going to the moon, baby. <laughs> Actually, I only take Safe Moon. I need ten trillion <laughs> Safe Moon for this. <laughs> I need a I need a quadrillion. F uh, f Anyway, let's move on. What the fuck? I'm not going anywhere with this. But I it's, not, just, it's just, it's weird. I, it. <laughs> it's just weird. That's all. Yeah, and then this was another Cav Cav one. Eli, I don't know if you saw this. This fucking guy, he doesn't know that we can see everything he's doing. He started running an ad. Oh, did it stop? There's actually, if you, no, it's loading. There's multiple ads. Oh, so he made more because before there was just one. Yeah, so he's, this guy's fucking dumb. He's running a tech company. He doesn't understand. He has boomer understanding of everything. So we can see his ads. Oh, you know what it is? You got to turn off ad block. Okay. He has boomer understanding of the, of the, oh, fuck. Thank you. Yeah. I just want to turn it off on this page. So, we someone's posted that he was. Oh yeah, so he's got a bunch now. Oh, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. So you can see his paid ads. Yeah, yep. it's it's part of their transparency thing oh. after the election. Oh. Yeah, so somebody got an ad for this. Um, well, you can see the ad here if I zoom in. Yeah. Um, it's the his article and then me being accused of racism and homophobia. <laughs> so he's running ads to assassinate my character. Uh, and it says, for people who just blindly believe what Ethan is preaching, he's lying. And by doing his bidding, you are helping him harm a lot of people while putting millions in his pocket. A lot of people? Who are we harming? A lot of people? I Apparently I'm making a lot of money from... Uh, I wish I, that were true. I'm just making fun of you for free, my friend. 
<laughs> Unfortunately. Do it all day free. In fact, it's costing me a shitload of money to goof on you, dude. Yeah. Way sure. more. If you scroll down, his Variety article is on there. Um, the one that he's trying to share, the one that he edited. Where? Showman of the Year. Allegedly. Oh, fuck. He's promoting <laughs> this cringe? Yep. Oh, my oh God. let's go. An article from 10 years ago? With, well, the t with the date edited out. My guess is that he wants when people look up Ryan Kavanaugh Variety, this is what they find. Yeah. Ooh, slick. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Ryan <laughs> Kavanaugh Variety. Uh, no, Ponzi scheme. <laughs> Still up. Let me do it. I do a, wonder if they'll ever take that down. Well, that's between him and them. I mean, right, yeah. I'm, yeah. Just, I'm, I'm curious. I mean, I cashed it. Yeah, of course. For the lawsuit. Yeah, of course. Ryan Kavanaugh Variety. This is uh, incognito. Yeah, it's the Ponzi scheme one still. Hmm. The article of, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he did a Ponzi. Man, there's a lot of Variety articles about him that look not very... <laughs> Sues Flattery. Adam Fields over fake harassment, paid him. Oh, this is a new one. Ryan Kavanaugh paid himself $2.6 million as companies struggled. Damn, that sounds scummy, bro. <laughs> sounds like you're trying to, okay, I'm not, I'll just take, uh, damn, bro. It's like everything that comes up is bad. Crazy, huh? Um. Anyway, I love that. So, yeah, he's promoting. This is so fucking awesome, you guys. Isn't this great? <laughs> oh my god. What's on the screen? Creeping me out. That's Wait. His, oh, I'm, I'm a your brand NFT, new NFT baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> opening bid 10 quadrillion mo safe moon. That's right. Save the kid coins. So, what else? Couldn't it be more. Pr okay, so he's saying he's proud of his dad. Why are you promoting that? Oh, so this actually gives some interesting insight into where his wealth comes from. Couldn't it be more proud of Jack Kavanaugh, a.k.a. dad? Always changing the world. First he bought the word. First he brought the word. The fuck you say? Brought For, the world is what he's trying to say, but there's a typo. He promoted a mm. post probably, with a typo? Probably should have. <laughs> Still take that. The word straight, Jack. He's probably drunk when he wrote it. Uh, I don't know how we could know that. Of course. I said probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I know he. he I would, I, it's safe to assume he likes drinking. He might have been wet and wild. Yeah. <laughs> Just maybe. I don't know. First, he brought the world the most important breakthrough in cancer in our lifetime. And now nanotech? Wow, his dad sounds pretty cool. What happened? Well, from what I understand, his dad is either the owner or investor in a ton of uh, like pharmaceutical company type oh, stuff and like shit. medical research stuff. Yeah, his dad uh, is, is actually from... I haven't done a deep dive in or anything, but I, I was curious because of the story about him becoming a venture capitalist right out of college. I was like, okay, well, obviously you're a trust fund baby, so where did that money come from? And yeah, his uh, father. So it, daddy's been funding him. Well, well, that at least I when mean, he got started. That explains uh, to me how like he goes from bankrupting relativity, being an abject failure, mm -hmm. lampooned by the industry. To being like, okay, now I'm buying Triller. It's like, where'd that money come from? Yeah. Okay, interesting. Golden parachute. So he, 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 he's promoting a post about his dad. Okay. I found an epic article of kind of afraid. <laughs> let's <laughs> okay. let's check it out out okay. there. Whoa, 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 no, no, whoa, no, whoa. No more of this live looking into this stuff. This is not a Wait, good idea. send it to me in the Discord. Let me browse the title. Well, let, let them look into it first. It's, let me look at the title. Send it in Discord. Mm. Okay. But let's just... Let's just... Let's just mm. Oh, wow. Holy fuck. <laughs> Wait, I can't read the title? Here, let's read the whole article. That way, nobody can complain. Let me scroll to the bottom and see if there's any corrections. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> I, same thing. I don't see any corrections. Hmm. This is so interesting. Wow. Roll it. So if you look at, because his dad is Jack Kavanaugh. Correct. Wow. So hmm. this is fucking fascinating. 
Relativity Media's CEO's father will pay damages for selling a fake Picasso. Daddy, wow. chill. Runs in the family. So these things are accidents sometimes. That's true. That's true. He may, uh, you know, he may have not known it. Well, was let's fake. read the article. Los Angeles jury on Friday found that Jack Cavanaugh, father of Relativity Media CEO Ryan Cavanaugh, defrauded his former friend Victor Sands in the sale of a phony Picasso and awarded Sands close to 3.5 million in damages. Jack Cavanaugh was ordered to pay Sands 250 in punitive damage, and the jury awarded him an additional 3.2 in compensatory damages. Damn. Whoa. Sounds pretty serious. Sands filed suit against the elder Kavanaugh in December 2010, claiming Kavanaugh persuaded Sands to invest more than $6 million in a series of dubious ventures from which Kavanaugh stood to personally benefit. Oh. The most significant of these cases and the sexiest involved the work of art purported to be by Pablo Picasso. Sands, who paid $2 million for what the fortune. interjection? And the sexiest? Yeah, and the sexiest. Yeah. Mm, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Sands, who paid $2 million for the for the forged piece, accused Kavanaugh of receiving $800,000 from L.A. Calorie owner Tatia Khan for arranging the deal. Sands also accused Kavanaugh's wife, Leslie, whoa, another defendant in the case, was being complicit in the deception. Wow. In 2010, Khan agreed to plead guilty to federal fraud charges. As part of her plea deal, she agreed to pay restitution for the fake Picasso. Kavanaugh's lawyer... Eric George believes that 2.2 million of the 3.2 million has already been accounted for through the payments made by Khan. We've always maintained, as the FBI concluded, whoa, FBI were involved in this juicy little fucking tidbit, eh? Mm -hmm. So the Kavanaugh family has some experience dealing with federal federal agents. Mm. Mm. I have no way of knowing. Keep reading the rest of this paragraph, though, because this okay. does seem relevant. <clears throat> we're all... We've always maintained, as the FBI concluded, that no one bears responsibility other than the woman who was uh, convicted by the U.S. attorney for commissioning the forgery. Okay. Right. Yeah. In any event, the jury's special verdict confirms that the plaintiff suffered no damages other than legal fees and costs. He neither pleaded nor is legally entitled to. But that's real interesting because it sounds like the jury, based on the information they saw, it sounds like Kavanaugh made eight hundred thousand, but was awarded way more than that three point two, plus two fifty. Um, Sand's lawyer, I don't care about Sand. We've been very grateful that the jury saw the action of Jack and Leslie Kavanaugh for what they were, which was a successful attempt to defraud my client. Mm -hmm. When the verdict was delivered, the jury was asked, "Do you find?" Any clear and convincing evidence that Jack Kavanaugh engaged in conduct that is malicious, oppressive, or fraudulent? The jury replied, yes. Also finding Kavanaugh guilty of breach of fiduciary duties, intentional misrepresentation, negligent misrepresentation, and concealment, among other charges. Well, Convicted, wow. I mean, that's pretty good, right, from the jury. That's pretty serious. That sounds very serious. Still, George argued that because other claims have been dismissed, his client would be entitled to recoup attorney fees. Uh, we're gratified we prevailed on the majority of the claims, and and they were dismissed as we are entitled to do. We will proceed in the next phase of the trial to discover all of our attorney's fees and related to those dismissal claims. Hmm. Apparently, this was a really big deal in the art world. I, I see this story showing up on I feel like I've seen a documentary about this. History of the most right. notorious art scandals and scams in history, and this is one of them that's listed oh. on there. I, I feel I, like I've I watched saw, something about um, Yeah, Yeah, I saw something kind of recently about basically stuff like that. Like, like they were selling fake artworks in the millions, oh. you know, eight million, wow. crazy stuff. Okay, well, this is insane because we can basically say that if you go down, the jury found Jack Kavanaugh, Ryan Kavanaugh's father, guilt, or they said they found him to be uh, engaging in malicious, oppressive, and fraudulent conduct. <laughs> crazy, huh? That is really crazy. I have no way of knowing, but... Maybe the Picasso was flipped. Oh. It was upside down. Mm. Well, why don't they just was, do it? Why don't they just unflip it? Oh, right, it? yeah. And, I mean, yeah. Hell. 
Yeah. No, that's how they figured it out. <laughs> you know, so that's real interesting, though, when you learn that a jury found that about his dad. It kind of inform tells you a little bit about maybe the conduct of uh, his his family, his children. I would call that a fraud. <laughs> Not me. I'm not. I'm only quoting the what the jury said. So there you go. This is good shit, though. Don't you guys think? It's really interesting. Actually. I actually got to look into that because that case sounds like super fucking interesting. eh? Mm. I want to learn more about this Jack Cavanaugh character. You see anything else on him? <laughs> he sounds like an interesting guy. Everyone said shout out AB for the fifth lawsuit. We got you. <laughs> uh, maybe just uh, move on. No, 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 We got to go, go, Jack Cavanaugh. Jack, 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 Jack Cavanaugh. Super interesting. AB did that. Everyone saw that. <laughs> That's going to be love in court. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the flinch. Love is going to write on me. This is, is, his, uh, is his, link, his LinkedIn's not that interesting, is he? Damn, he looks like Trump. What the fuck? Oh, no, he doesn't. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to look at his LinkedIn. I mean. Too far. Too far. We got so much juice today. A lot of other things to talk about. What we do we got? The entire episode family. on Ryan family. Kavanaugh. Family. 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 Stop. Family. <laughs> you guys were a little off. You were a little off. Yeah, that was not a good one. <laughs> The Picasso in question, there was a small tell. It was a actually a bored ape. I don't think Picasso painted any bored apes. Oh, maybe he did. What was maybe, the that, name? maybe that's why it's so valuable. I'm trying to think what was the name of the documentary that I watched because it was really interesting. Is it Made You Look? Does anybody know? That sounds familiar, potentially. I swear I learned about this exact thing and that lady. She was like a prolific. Mm -hmm. She worked with like a Chinese artist. Exactly. Who was like this prolific forger. Yeah. Hmm. And he she... was like the best forger ever. And but but they were part of like a legit gallery. Thank you, dude. And amazing. basically that whole gallery went. Bankrupt. Yeah. Can you, it, it, this guy, this Chinese artist, he was like the most prolific forger. Nobody could figure out. The only way they figured out these were actually fake was by doing like these really deep research on the uh, prominent pro provenance prominence what is the word the history of the pieces you know mm -hmm. like they were unaccounted for in the history books right they're like how do they keep coming up with um i'm not seeing any reference to this con character in the uh description of the documentary so it's possible it was a different uh different scandal but i'm still <clears throat> Trying to see if there's any connection there. Yeah, by the way, this one that they're bragging they won. It was about some random YouTube channel that didn't respond to the uh, to the judgment or to the uh, this. Uh, I'm not super familiar, but I think it was just a fail to answer. So they've got a big dub on that one. All right, that's it. Thank you. Oh, now let's talk about Keemstar, okay? Everyone loves that. Oh, uh, no, no, no. There's one more thing I got to watch. <laughs> this fucking guy, he had a fight the other night. You got to see what this guy's wearing, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Put what is that? invitation on your Instagram. <laughs> is he here? I've been looking for him. I did invite him on my Instagram. Um, and there's the invite. Um, I, I did... Ask him if he wanted to come to learn how it's a proper Dana production White. is done. Because, you know, Dana's idea of a proper production is throw up a little rusty ring, you know, pay his fighters what we pay our ushers. Whoa! Uh, you know, sh sh throw one little fight, have a guy knock a guy out and call it a night. I, this is what a production is, thanks to our wonderful production team. And I thought Dana might want to come and learn a thing or two here. But, you know, he can keep underpaid his fighters and taking home his own money and throwing up that rusty little ring. Wow, talking like a you, you, Man, Nick a, Cannon will do man. anything. Yeah, I know, Nick Cannon will do What did. the fuck was that? That defamation. was the worst that's shit defamation. talk I have ever so That's defamation. Heard. Well, he's harassing poor Dana White. <laughs> and he should hit him with a lawsuit, He I should think. hit him with a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> 
By the way, you maybe you should have rehearsed that a couple times, my dude. What, what the, the fuck, fuck is this shirt? That? What's happening here, you guys? You're not supposed to wear white under white. Most people it's don't know that. It's so weird. But what it shows this? up. Wait, so the, is what's it, happening it, in the sleeve? That's exactly it. Are we even sure that this isn't one piece of clothing? Because the sleeve it is so. Be. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> I think he's wearing like a really loose, long sleeve white shirt and then like a tighter white t shirt oh, over it. Dude, he looks mistake. so haggard. <laughs> you put up an amazing invitation on your Instagram. Is he here? I've been looking. Well, I wonder if they I've been looking it. for him, but he's at uh, home with his money, his own money, <laughs> not giving the money to the fighters. Uh, but he, 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 I would have been did looking you, for him you, all night. Did you, uh, like that uh, kid, you know? Did you? When you, is he here? Apparently, I've been looking for I've been him. Looking I did find him. him. Uh, and there's the invite. But it's not uh, here. I, I did. Ask him if he wanted to come uh, him, to learn how a proper production is done. On my because, lap. you know, Dana's idea of a <laughs> yeah, proper production is a little rusty ring. Is a ring. You know, rusty pay ring. His fighters what we pay our ushers. Actually, what we do is we steal oh, uh, the IP you know, of other companies. Throw one and little thing. I got, 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 got hairy legs. I got hairy I, legs. This is how Dana might want to come and learn a thing or two here. Yeah, and Kate, just because there's controversy everywhere with Ryan, they're being sued for use for allegedly stealing someone's IP in the triangle ring, which is up there. But, you know, he can keep underpaid his fighters and taking home his own money and throwing up that rusty little ring. Throw, throwing up the rusty, <laughs> Dude, uh, rusty that, 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 uh, little that, ring. That, that. Uh, also, it's the UFC, uh, bro. You're not fooling anyone. Like, we all know they're the, the, we all know you're a baby compared to them. So, if anyone wants to watch, it is Made You Look. That's what it's called. Oh, Made You Look. Is it about True the... crime style documentary, which investigates how a Nolder Gallery, an esteemed 165-year-old institution in New York City, mm. sold nearly 80 million worth of forged Jackson Pollock, Mark's Rothko, Mark Rothko, hmm. and others. So, I don't know if it's about the same thing, but... It doesn't sound like it. It sounds like a very similar yeah, kind very of similar operation. Though. Really interesting, but... though. Yeah. Yeah. So this 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 Chinese guy was able to emulate people's art style exactly. So he would make he wouldn't he wasn't even copying shit. He was making new art that looked exactly like theirs. And they were just oh so they were just oh. them. Yeah, and they were saying like, oh no, but oh, old, we found this. This is a long lost one. Yeah. That oh. Found a long lost one. And, and they would send it to like historians and chronologers and uh, biographers, and they would all say it, it looks real. Wow. That's, yeah. I mean, that's impressive in its own right. Like the I mean, way, obviously it's dishonest, but like being able to no, perfectly the emulate incredible. the style. The guy the was, artist, was a prodigy. Himself, yes. Yeah. But the people <gasps> who were dealing with Apparently this were like sucked. actual criminals. <laughs> oh, yeah, they were fucking <laughs> yeah. scumbags. Yeah. And um, the only way they were able to like figure it out, they would analyze the ink, and they would see that like the ink wasn't old, like they're cracked in certain ways. Wow. That, uh, Old ink. That sounds really fascinating. Yeah, that's, that's good. Interesting. Made you I look. Check that out. Made you look. All right, that's it. All right, so now we move on to Keemstar. Is he in the thumbnail? No. Nah. He'll snitch on me. He so, had a thumbnail for a new drama alert that fucking cracked me up. Show me that shit, babe. Um, Can someone grab me a soda? Need a. I need a pick me up. You want anything, Eula? A soda too. Can we get some sodies in the house? Bo? Okay. <laughs> Do you guys have ice here? Lena? Yeah, we have ice. Can yes. we put some ice in the cup? Thank you. <laughs> Look at this thumbnail. Lena Instacart is this ice. Bad. <laughs> Wait, this bad. This <laughs> bad. It's like a caveman. This or bad. He, or this, this is what he bad. thinks of his audience. A book, huh? This a bad. Book, huh? <laughs> this bad. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> This video is shit. <laughs> Murder animals! <laughs> this bad. Like, what is this? This bad. <laughs> <laughs> this bad. I fucked up! Okay. <laughs> a book? Huh? Uh, and a book? Huh? <laughs> yeah, this bad. Huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> that's awesome. Huh? <laughs> All right, so what's real interesting Dude. about so cute, the dogs, what? 
the calzones giving me heartburn. It was uh, fucking gnarly, bro. Yeah. I feel okay though. Like it was delicious. But it, I just had last it. night my first uh, heartburn for this pregnancy. Oh, right. That's like so, a thing when you're pregnant. It, it gets really bad usually. Last time right? it happened to me at the end, too. Mm. So, you're yay. So well, maybe these are... <laughs> I'm having sympathy pains for you right now, Eva. My body is uh, definitely not handling it as easily as the first time. Huh? 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 <laughs> you know what's funny is Eva. I to describe some of the stuff, but it's some weird things happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can say it. I mean, you can be open about it. I think it's interesting. <laughs> We have, like, radical honesty here on the show. You say it. You want me to say it? I won't say it. I can say it? You can say it if you say it. <laughs> okay, so, Ela's, uh... <laughs> you see? Vaginal area has been, uh, <laughs> swollen. Yeah. That's it. That's mm, it. That's pretty normal, right? <laughs> And she had to ice her fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's she got to sit on ice and shit. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> stop it! That's disgusting. Stop it, William. Do you ice it or did you not? Did you stop? I Cause, stopped because I wasn't sure I was doing anything. It's probably really uncomfortable, yeah. I can imagine. So, is there any treatment for it? No. Are you just like bulging out? So, <laughs> in pregnancy, <laughs> you have, like, more blood, I guess, or mm -hmm. your blood is creating more whatever it is. And uh, so, swelling happens in general. And then, I don't know, my theory is maybe because I'm sitting a lot more oh, right. lately. Said, right, right, right. I've been sitting more, like, doing work on the computer and stuff. So, maybe because of that. It could be, sure. Some people um, will have their feet. You know, their feet swell. swell. That happened. Yeah. Did that happen to you? Where your feet swell? I think they're a little bit, but not crazy. Hmm. Yeah. So, what's interesting? Thank you so much, Olivia. Not to dim not shatter. Calm down. Shatter. It's okay. A few people She's saying there's icy underwear for pregnant women. Icy underwear? Yeah. What? And, somebody, and somebody's wearing frozen pads. Yo, what? we gotta get you some frozen panties, bro. That's crazy. Do you want? Do you want some frozen undies? I'll try it. <laughs> Where do I buy that? Macy's? <laughs> the frozen section at Ralph's? There you go. Padsicles. <laughs> <laughs> Padsicle. Doesn't a padsicle imply that you're supposed to eat it? Uh, <laughs> well... I guess not. They give you step by step instructions to make them yourself. So there you go. Oh my God, we're not. You want to make do it? Oh, you you make them yourself. I guess so. I guess I mean you just put it in the freezer. Lay a piece of aluminum foil on the countertop. <laughs> make sure you have enough to wipe around a sanitary napkin. What is a sanitary napkin? Is that just another term for a pad? Oh, probably. Why do they call it a napkin? Right here, it's like unwrap a sanitary napkin or pad. And lay it on the foil. Uh, remove adhesive paper tabs. Squeeze unscented pure aloe vera gel. Generously. It. Spread it around. Pour or spray alcohol-free witch hazel over the pad. I'm not putting witch hazel on <laughs> your fucking genitals. I don't know what it is. No, actually, I wanted to do lavender essential oil, blah, blah, blah. And then I imagine you pop it in the freezer. <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right. All right. <clears throat> anyway, we'll, we'll we'll work on the popsicle, the padsicle. But anyway, you know what's funny <laughs> is not to diminish your discomfort that you're going through, <laughs> but I feel like a lot of the stuff you experience is what I experience on an everyday basis, just from being fat. Well, you're like I got heartburn. I was like, oh really? And then you're like, oh, I can't get up. I'm too fat. <laughs> but obviously, I do that to myself. I gotta say, if you're looking at the chat. A lot of our uh, fans that are mothers have uh, are swearing by this, saying that it's uh, that it's great Wait, and the witch hazel real? is good. I'll, I can, I'll make you a, I'll make you a padsicle tonight. What is a witch hazel? What I think that's it? just like a herb, you know, like aloe vera or something. Oh, okay. I don't. I think we can skip the witch hazel. It's no, a, they're saying the they're saying good. the witch hazel is the, the witch shit. hazel is the good shit. Yeah. It's the stuff they use in preparation age. Someone said, "Okay, so witch right. hazel is normal, normal, not like steroids on the face." Okay, <laughs> <laughs> called out. Why they got to name it witch hazel? They want me to use it. Well, it's 
that's probably the plant that it comes from, but it, you know, like how aloe vera is a plant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, my mm-hmm. favorite plant's like Nazi Holocaust. <laughs> like, why you got to call it witch hazel? <laughs> <laughs> Makes it sound like they're casting an evil spell on you. Uh, I love the Nazi tulip. Well, early Puritan settlers in New England adopted witch hazel as a supposed remedy from the natives. Maybe it's why like, they established in the United States in the 19th century. Maybe like magic. It yeah. works like yeah. magic. Yeah, well, my favorite flower is the um, Trail of Tears a Rose. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it helps with uh, foot. It helps with uh, athlete's foot. Yeah. <laughs> we'll put some Trail of Tears tulip juice on your oh my God. padsicle, you know? <laughs> Yo, going back to the Keem thing real quick. Dropping the hottest album in 2021. <laughs> this bad. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> this bad. All right, let's talk about Keemstar. You know this shit's all good. You guys know it's gonna be good. I love witches. If there's witches in the chats, please don't hex me. Don't hex me, witches. I've been cursed by a witch once already. Remember that? We made that one reaction video to the male, the oh, the witch. Yeah. And I was like, please don't hex me, bro. <laughs> and she did? It was a guy, actually. <laughs> he did? He says he didn't, but I think he did. <laughs> Fucked around and found out. I fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's my, here's where it gets real interesting. I was reading over the complaint. Wait, I thought we were moving on. No, we're, we're moving on to Keemstar. Uh-oh. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, obviously, this is good. This is good. So there's in this complaint for some fucking reason, you guys, Keemstar is brought up. Yeah. All over this complaint. It's unbelievable. Why is Keemstar's story being told in this lawsuit against me? <laughs> I've long suspected that Keemstar and Ryan Kavanaugh. And actually, you've seen because people people reached out to Ryan in the DMs just goofing around. And they're like, yo, I got dirt on Ethan. And he's like, yo, let me see it. So it would be really easy for Keemstar to reach out to Ryan and be like, yo, I got a dossier on Ethan. And Ryan be like, let's meet up for some fucking I plotting. Mean, yeah, I, I already think he does that with anyone that we have any slight um, beef with. Mm-hmm. For sure. I think he already does that. So that's probably what happened here. Mm-hmm. But I just think it's funny. I think it, it, it's really worth talking about in that... You, you look at all these commentary channels that, like, hate me and, like, make every exception in the world for Keemstar weird. I mean, those people are brain dead. So. Well, Keemstar is supporting a guy who's trying... Uh, let me read this. I've long suspected Keemstar of working with Ryan Kavanaugh to get my channel banned to weaken fair use and stifle free speech. And this being included in the lawsuit is pretty compelling evidence to support that. Why would they include this? Look at this. Klein's content is deliberately offensive, provocative, and inflammatory. Frequently, he mocks and harasses other social media personalities to attract attention and entertain viewers. Hmm, none of that's illegal. Weird. <laughs> well, I appreciate that they say I'm enter- I entertain, at least. Because <laughs> that's like, okay, good, yeah. <laughs> also, just your opinion, bro. For example, in August uh, 2021, YouTube suspended Klein for seven days for violating its harassment policy by posting content that degradingly sexualized. Where, where did they get that quote from? His 20-year-old girlfriend. Yeah, why is that in quotes? Yeah, I wonder, what are you... I've lost it. <laughs> What's your source? Keemstar? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Draw you got a, a, a attribution for Keemi there? Uh, his 20-year-old girlfriend, on a, well, the only one getting degraded, uh, uh, the only person degrading that 20-year-old was Keemstar, mm-hmm. uh, t- showing pictures of her to face banks and talking about what a piece of ass she was. Right. <laughs> I forgot about he that. He did do that. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. like, oh my god, I totally forgot. It's like a Romeo and Juliet. Yikes. So, um, the 20-year-old girlfriend of another YouTube content creator, Daniel Keem, this occurred during an episode of H3 After Dark, in which Klein had someone call into the show pretending to be Keem's girlfriend, who said that Keem, well, I'm just reading from a legal profile, I'm not doing anything, who said that Keem cries during sex and has small genital, genitalia. Following I mean, Klein, how did this make it into the lawsuit? It has no fucking relevance. None. <laughs> 
I mean, they're, I guess they're just trying to paint me to be like a bad guy. Yeah. But you gotta love this. This is like the best characterization of all time. I'm a bad guy, and Keemstar, this poor, defenseless <laughs> lad. Uh, by the way, I called into a ra- yeah, every radio show in the world does that. We had a fucking parody of Keemstar. Yeah, okay, whatever. Yeah. Fallen client suspension. Keem posted a video stating justice has been served, and he deserved it. It's well overdue. The stuff that is said on that podcast to bully and harass other creators would never fly on anyone else's channel. That show has been harassing so many fucking creators. So many fucking YouTubers. So Keemstar is able to do his grand, his righteous grandstanding in Ryan Kavanaugh's lawsuit. What the fuck? Stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like psychotic, bro. Yeah, why don't you bring in this? This is a great one. Why don't you bring in Trisha and Matt Haas for a quote, too, while you're at it? Okay, bitch. Wait, they did. <laughs> Not Matt Haas. Oh, yeah, they did bring up Trisha. Yeah, Trisha is in this lawsuit Can as well. Believe- they mentioned Trisha and yeah. Frenemies. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> oh, wild ride, man. Everything is so, like, out of context, too. Of course, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Emily, when in her stream, she seemed to indicate that this is not uncommon because, you know, obviously it's their complaint, so they're going to, like, try and characterize it as much as they can. But I, I do find it, like, I guess it just depends on the judge and their kind of disposition towards this kind of stuff because <laughs> the fact of the matter, like... It's totally irrelevant. It's so fucking irrelevant to the question at hand, which is defamation and, and, and a very specific instance of defamation. Like what you do else, like on our show, otherwise, well, has they no think, fucking bearing on what the core of the lawsuit is at all. It's like, well, one possibility is like in a lawsuit, you have certain rights to say whatever the fuck you want, mm-hmm. and so they can use this right and they can exploit this right to basically air whatever dirty laundry they think i have and put a public file yeah it just seems so it's just apparently totally. like trying to kind of like like hey this guy's a piece of shit so you should you know, yeah you know. hopefully it's just gonna upset the judge yeah. yeah exactly that's what i meant by the disposition of the judge because i feel like some people would look at this and be like what is this like, yeah who cares it, how is the judge even gonna make sense of this Right. Like this like weird YouTube beef. Yeah. And that's another reason that I think it's from Keem because who else would make this argument besides him? Because yeah. everyone else who knows YouTube would be like, oh, well, Keem said this about Ethan's wife. He yeah. said he's going to steal his son's uh, child, uh, college fund, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's so easy to... Lied about me? You want to talk about real defamation? Yeah. He actually did real defamation. Actual defamation. Right. Yeah. But guess yeah, what? Lucky Keemstar is I don't sue people. I only get Very sued. lucky for Keemstar. Yeah. I, don't get, I don't sue people. Need to go down for that. FUPA fun shit. I get sued all the defamation. fucking time. Yeah. I love how Emily, she goes, Ethan, who's somehow a lightning rod for lawsuits, is like, not me. I don't sue anyone. I never sued anyone in my whole damn life, and I don't plan to ever. I'm I, literally going to take the teddy brush away. I, I, yeah. Oh, maybe he wants to take a walk? Yeah, Shred, you're so sweet. What the hell? It's so cute. It's so comfortable. Wow. <laughs> 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 so cute. Shredder's so sweet. Like, Aww. He's such a sweet soul. You know what I love about Shredder is that like he doesn't fuck with anyone but me and you. <laughs> he doesn't have time for anybody but me or you. He doesn't want to be touched. He doesn't want to be near. He doesn't want to have anything to do with you. But to me and you, he's like the sweetest, most loving dog in the world. <laughs> and to everyone else, he fucking jumps at him. And scares him. Mm-hmm. Barks at him. I didn't know dogs could push. He pushed me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, he does that. He does that. He gets us at the back of the knee. He does it to us, And too. then you're like... How do you describe it? Well, he can get you right Yeah, right in the back of the knee. You yeah. can buckle. He gives you a dead leg. <laughs> even though, yeah, dead, he, does even though he weighs like six pounds, he can buckle your ass. Sweeter than your parents' dog, I'll say that. <laughs> Boss is the fucking worst. <laughs> Tried to kill I hate my parents' dog. I love every dog and I hate my parents' dog. <laughs> poor Wallace. Well, not really poor Wallace. He's fine. He's a sweet dog, but I don't know. He, he's like, he's a deceptively big, massive dog. And, you know, he's also a rescue. And sometimes, for no apparent reason, we'll all be chilling and he'll just lunge and bark and f- scare the shit. 
and he's got the deepest bark. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's scary Ferocious. as hell. Do you do you let him around Theodore or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's okay actually with kids. Mm-hmm. Huh. With our family, immediate family, he's never done that. Hmm. It's just people he but doesn't know. But if we have friends well. over or AB over, <laughs> <laughs> or Ian, he's going after you, right, Ian? <laughs> Oh yes. When we were doing families, Ian was <laughs> and he's so scary, terrified. Right? He's yeah, scary. Yeah, rightfully so. He yeah. got he got me once. He bit you? Yeah. Yeah. I no way. You don't remember that? I remember. I don't remember him yeah. biting. He got me on the ankle and got me yeah. pretty good. Holy shit. Yeah. He bit me a month ago. Yeah, I keep telling your parents we're gonna get another lawsuit because of what <laughs> I, I say, listen, your dog is dangerous. And my parents, they're so fucking they're just uh, they don't so she's like oh they don't it's care okay yeah oh, he's sweet. He does, they bring the dog to my <laughs> house know. where we have workers and stuff and they let him off the leash and then people are like oh, 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 oh. Uh, every, every time i saw him he wanted to cujo me so yeah. bad i could see it <laughs> yeah also he plays way too rough with alfredo i know Oh, and then I go, Mom well. and Dad, get take care of your fucking dog. He's trying to kill my dog. <laughs> oh, they're just Baby, playing. No. They're just playing. <laughs> what the fuck? Alfredo's on his back, like fighting for his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when Alfredo turns into Alfrico, he'll fuck him up. Yeah. Alfrico is scary. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, funnily, when Shred- Shredder don't take shit from Wallace, mm-hmm. Shredder's the only dog that can put Wallace in his place. <laughs> I felt bad. I didn't want to tell your parents because they're so sweet. But then your dad's like, oh, I'm just going to let him out for a little bit. I'm like, oh, <laughs> he, he bit me like a few minutes ago. <laughs> Did you say that? <laughs> yeah, I told no, your dad. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, he felt bad. <laughs> he kept apologizing. I was like, no, it's fine. He just. Did he still let him off the leash? No, no, he didn't. No, he... <laughs> yeah, he sh- but the point is he Next should know better. <laughs> he sh- he sh- you shouldn't have to even. He shouldn't have to have bit- had to bite you before. I don't know if he knew I was there because oh, me and maybe. Theodore were doing the decorations with Lena. That's true. Yeah. Psycho dog. Scooby dooby doo. <laughs> anyway, he says, um, to this day, Klein routinely complains about Keem at length during his podcast. Yeah, I wonder why. Having received a suspension <laughs> from YouTube for his attacks on Keem earlier this year. Um, who wrote this? Keemstar or Ryan Kavanaugh? <laughs> so weird. <laughs> but anyway, now basically we can say that Keemstar, the. F- According to this court filing, this small genitalia is now canon. <laughs> it's a matter of public matter interest. Of public record, yeah. yeah, public interest. <laughs> that is fucking amazing. That is so funny. Um, let's see. Hopefully he doesn't go to Discovery. Oh, bro. Oh. By the way, yeah, I'm going to need a picture. <laughs> to know if I defamed you or not. Because <laughs> if he, well, anyway, let's not joke about that. It's serious. Yeah, we, we don't want to, we don't want to make any uncomfortable jokes. Just reading the court filing, which is my legal right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And they're the ones that wrote it in there. You know what I mean? Huh? 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 Um, yeah, but if we do, do get far enough to where we depose Ryan, I'm definitely going to ask him, have you been in contact with Daniel Keem? Daniel Keem? And he's under oath, so he's not going to lie. Keem Although Keem. he has lied under oath before. Wait. Ryan Kavanaugh. When? Um, when he was uh, judge, went during the sexual, the fake sexual men memo thing. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true? Yeah. Okay, take your word for it. Yeah, so one of the first one questions. Fourth lawsuit. Yeah, no, it's true. Yeah, he did. I mean, it was reported. I mean, it's true that it was reported. Okay. Let's say that. Baby's confirming it. <laughs> well, just pull up the source. Just be can... careful. Just be careful with those kind of things. But uh, the first thing I would ask Ryan, if I were to depose him, is have you ever lied under oath? Hmm. Because it's like you're, he's taking an oath not to lie. Right. And it's like, well, if you've already lied under oath, how can we trust anything you say? Right? It's pretty good. Got him. It's pretty good. Maybe you got something for me? Fucking, it's all Brett Kavanaugh lying under oath. Yeah. I'm... Mm. <laughs> oh, Brett <Okay>. Kavanaugh. <laughs> Oops. Forgot about that other, I like one. other beer, Kevin. <laughs> I like beer. Do you like drink beer? drink beer and having some beers with friends. Well, I think, I can assume Ryan likes beer too, right? 
So they have that. Now. Maybe once upon a time. Yeah. Well, here, this was around 2007. Hold on. Ryan Kavanaugh. Don't just type his name. <laughs> I believe it's in that. Yeah, here, here. 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 So this is the one about fabricating uh, uh -huh. SH. Um, here, let right. me control F oath. Um, in particular, he declared under oath an attempt to explain why the memorandum has not been produced earlier. Relativity subjected f submitted false declarations from Mr. Kavanaugh. Mr. Kavanaugh claimed in his declaration that he was the one to ferret out the location of the memorandum. In particular, he declared under oath that he suspected the document had not been produced because it was in a private folder. Oh. Yeah, yeah that seems pretty definitive. Yeah, okay. the, the judge is the one who hey. said... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dan. We got we him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> he had found it out of a private folder um, regarding Miss Genus, who was no longer an employee at Relativity. Right, that's the person that... They tried to pin this, Miss, uh, uh, Miss Genius's supposed private folder. He, he uh, fortuitously located the memo and provided it to counsel. All right. Well, deadline says so. Yeah, we found that. We actually sourced that from our very own website. Right, love? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Like if you go, if you type Ryan Kavanaugh and go down to. Oh, I see. That article is linked. Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? We actually source our claims here. For example, this one says lying under oath. If you refresh the page real quick, it's sourced. So if you go, it's not giving. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, it's not a clickable link. Oh, it's not a link. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a work in progress, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, lying under oath. Fucking hell, right? Can I just say, I, I got to say something real quick. People in the chat that are spamming, move on. If this, this is what's going on in our lives right now, okay? It's, it's going to be talked Who's about. Who's going to come here and hit me with a Leave. move on? You move on. You're the one that needs uh, to move on. Move on. Who's going to hit me with a move on when I'm talking about? Yeah, don't have a move on. Queen. <laughs> I have to say, like literally don't just... try to move on in any context because that quote is actually time out, like automatically timed out for one. Oh, that's seconds. epic! Well, there you go. Get the fuck out! <laughs> Are people really leaving? Move on. Yeah, but it gets there, deleted. It's not a lot of people, seconds. but mm. yeah, and it, and it automatically gets deleted because it's in the auto mod. But so honestly, don't like, write, it's, don't move on. It, it's just. Just oh, so don't write, don't move on either. Oh, because that phrase get, will still get, get you bopped. bopped. <laughs> well, people that were doing that, we appreciate it. I'm, I'm sorry you got caught in the drag mat there. Oh, the you're, you're trying chat to is getting banned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, everyone's getting banned. Oh, no. What have we done? We're on a Damn, what delay. have you done? <laughs> family. 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 Stop! Family. <laughs> Love, you're fired. You just scared Ian a little <laughs> he's bit. On adult, he's in Sweden. He's on you're adult. out of the family. You made Ian no jump excuse. a little bit with that. Oh, really? <laughs> Spooked you? <laughs> there's another Keemstar. There's P Keemstar mentions all throughout this. It's so interesting. That's just so funny. Um, I can't get over that. Yeah, here, here you can see... Um... Something about small genitals. In 2020, Daniel Keem posted a video suggesting Klein was lying about using his own funds to pay his legal fees in an ongoing copyright lawsuit. In response, Klein produced a video about Keem titled Content. How are you going to mention this? This, this is, is like so This insane. is when Keem Star actually defamed us. Yes. Yeah. How are you going to mention Also, I won this? that lawsuit. Right. Hi. God. Everything about this, how are they even going to mention it? Isn't it mind-bending? crazy. They mind say, bending. according to May 2020 Business Insider article, Klein's fans sent numerous messages and comments to social media accounts associated with the energy drink G Fuel, urging the brand to cancel its partnership of Keem. In a okay. since-removed video posted by Keem, he claimed it's since re been removed. That's crazy because the Variety article is still up. 
<laughs> and they're <laughs> quoting something that was removed. <laughs> he claimed that Klein was setting a dangerous precedent for the commentary community by encouraging his followers to spam Kim's sponsors and reportedly threatened to sue Klein over his lost okay. sponsorship. Yeah, how has that gone for him? Anything else you want to tell us about Kim? Like maybe a little <laughs> biographic. Yeah, By a the background way, biography. on like why that video like, was who made. Who cares about Kim, what Kim has to say and what video? Well, well, and posted. by the way, when you write a complaint, you don't have infinite space. You have a finite box mm -hmm. to work in. And they've spent like three whole pages talking about Keemstar. It's just suspicious. It's odd. It's Very fucking odd. weird. Of anybody. What's going on? <laughs> what is <laughs> going on? What's going on? A <laughs> book, huh? What? What yeah. happened? I think in the in the next lawsuit they're going to be quoting from Bo Blacks. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just gather all of his uh, content and transcribe it. I would love to hear Bo Blacks read the lawsuit. Actually, that'd be pretty. I mean, it is. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> By the way, I thought I saw Kim start retweeting this. I thought it was so funny. Apparently, after my tweets about him, Kim start retiring at his pink, and H three fighting a lold suit. Wait, zoom in on the Kim star picture. This is a man. This is a man. This at is his pink. And the, this at, this is a man pink. in the like fucking <laughs> bottom. This okay. is rock bottom. Well, you may not like it, here. but this is peak male performance <laughs> okay, right here. Okay, okay, hold on. Where is he? He's in his you basement. You want this Keemstar? This is his basement? He has a man cave basement. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Red, red flag number one. He's wearing one. a Versace robe by himself. Red flag number two. Glasses in his house. A red bandana in his house by himself. Red flag number four. <laughs> this is peak performance. Crying he's about, got an crying evil about, beard. That's died, like out of the movies. Died and lined up, allegedly. For sure, though. <laughs> For sure, though. I don't think he's going to sue you over saying his beard has died. <laughs> I would love if he did and we had to test it. <laughs> uh -huh. I think he actually said it himself. Oh, that he does die? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so frustrated! But you got to love this. He really <laughs> thinks he's at his peak here. I mean, Retiring and at his peak. I me... Mean, it Fat. Also, can we talk about the fact that he's saying it about himself? I mean, well, he retweeted. He retweeted. Uh, it. But he's oh, he's he co-signing it. Okay. Well, yeah, same. Yo, this Chicken. is this is bad. Someone said Keemstar is going through a midlife crisis and hits on girls who have just graduated high school. Ethan's building a family with a loving, successful wife. I mean, the only thing. I mean, yeah, I'm massive here, and you know. Well, was, also look at the picture. You're joking. not even trying. <laughs> like, yeah, I was making a joke. Yeah. But, uh, but, dude, you're like almost 40. I mean, this is not... Keemstar, shut up! If Keemstar thinks this is peak, then what is the bottom of the... Yeah. Apparently having a f loving family. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Then I he's think, flipped. I think he was saying he peaked in high school is what he was trying to say. I could see that. When he's running around getting arson I just charges. dyed the beard, and they're still gray. Okay, so there you have it. Is that Ian? Oh, it's Kim. Sorry, Ian. Oh, I swear, what? I thought it was Ian. Doesn't it look what? like him. <laughs> no. no. Sorry, That's Ian. Why. Sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know why <laughs> I thought that. <laughs> um. There was also a clip. Oh, he posted this today, Ela. You'll get a kick out of this. Totally. By the way, this is a man in his peak. <laughs> Everything is going all good in Kim Star's <laughs> life. Clearly. What's uh, happening with his retirement? I, yeah, he's trying to find someone, but every everyone he's friends with is like a degenerate fucking mm -hmm. loser. He said he'd retire on his birthday in March. Can't oh, wait. Just and retire, bruh. And then my guests come back. Don't wait. On <laughs> April 1st. April Fool's. Well, anyway, <laughs> Ela, this is a man in his peak. Dear God. I mean, what is with this bandana? Second. This is a new look now? He's been doing that for a bit now. Wait, is you, that because like people keep telling him to take off the hat? So perhaps, yeah, yeah, it's like that Hulk this Hogan. All that this. dude is so fucking bald. He's got to cover his forehead. I mean, the only other person that wears this is the bad guy from Tiger King. What's his name? Joe. Oh, uh, <laughs> Joe Exotic. And Jeff Jeff Lowe. Oh yeah, Jeff, Jeff Lowe. Lowe. Like Joe Exotic's a good guy. Jeff Lowe. Jeff Lowe. Joe Exotic is free. Joe Exotic, bro. Kimstar would totally hang out with Jeff Lowe. Oh, they're best friends. Yeah. Did anyone watch the new Tiger King yet? Yeah, yeah, I watched it. Can we talk about it? I thought it was good. It was good. And it made it made Joe seem maybe like 
they did him dirty. Yeah, I mean, they definitely fucked him over, without yeah. a doubt. Anyway, just watch this. This is a man in his peak, Hila. This is an important video. Dear God, let me turn on the music so I can, so I can pray. <clears throat> Dear Heavenly Father, this was four hours ago. creator of worlds, I ask this of you. Please send meteors from outer space to crash into the homes and kill all of my enemies. All the people that lie about me online, that make up shit. Please send meteors through their fucking house, right on their fucking head, and their temple. Like the middle of the meteor hits their fucking temple, all right? Whoa. Their family, their friends, their fucking dog. My okay, you can save the dog, all right? I love you dogs. You have to kill our but son, you know? Everyone they know, mm -hmm. gone. Boom. Explosions. Nuclear level. Please, for the love of God, I love you and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear That's God. a man. It, peak. That's peak performance. Was that an anti-Semitic? Shut word? up, bitch! Oh, Wait, <laughs> that Def Noodles dropped that. <laughs> Dear God, was it, uh, was it anti-Semitic? Yeah, temple. I mean, I. Oh no, no, the temple. no, the temple on the. Head. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. I, My I mind just goes. The... I was wondering the same thing at first. Yeah. <laughs> I was like temple. Yeah. Oh. Please blow up every Jewish temple. <laughs> That's where my <laughs> mind was going. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, he's obviously talking about me. And he literally said, kill their family. Is our only family in our house is our fucking two-year-old son. He's praying for his death. He's trying to um, mask it with, like, maybe he's just kidding. And therefore it's funny and okay. But it's like, you're just so... I never prayed for anyone's death. I'll yeah. tell you that. The ironic thing yeah. is, right after that video cut, he actually, driving in that car at like 60 miles an hour, hit three dogs on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because he said, okay, you can spare the dog because he... That's what makes it really ironic. Also, he, this he, wouldn't be the first time that he ran over a dog. So <laughs> saying he has a history of killing yeah, he's dogs. He's prepping yeah. for Christmas. On Christmas, right? Eight weeks away. On Christmas. Animals! <laughs> I wonder if he'll do a... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they'll do the annual running over the dog this yeah, year the for Christmas. Murder animals! Oh my god. On Just, the 12th day of Christmas, the, uh, Kimstar hit uh, my dog. On the 12th day of Christmas, Kimstar running through my street. 12 dead dogs, 10 <laughs> dead children, 20... Seven meteors hitting my neighbor's house. And two 20-year-olds. And two 20-year-olds for me. One bold man. One just for men, beard dye. <laughs> Ten more bandanas. <laughs> go two, uh, two swimming pools to go in with a full jersey and hat. I just hit a dog going 70 miles per hour on my truck. Still one of my favorite tweets. <laughs> that was from 2016. Wow, it's been a while. Yeah. Fuck, that dude hit, killed a dog. Murderer. Did he ever follow <laughs> up on the dog? Like he hit it at 70. That thing exploded. Dude. So it's it's gone. That, oh, that, 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 dog that dog is gone. gone. <laughs> that dog is definitely oh, gone. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. Exploded that fucker. Why would you tweet that? Wait, did he ever tell the story? Like, did he talk to the owners of the dog? Or I don't think just... there's anything beyond that tweet. Oh yeah. my is, god! This is Keem Keem Star, that's, just a, that's a Keem classic. Right? I actually wow. don't know. Certified Keem classic. Someone in... Driving. He yeah. lives in Rochester? No, Keem. What is it? Yeah. He, he probably, like, Ryan Kavanaugh, after, you know, hitting a car... Drive off. That's not good. That's villain behavior. <laughs> Maybe that's what they have in common. They're both wet and reckless. As according, the, that's what the police said: is that Ryan was under the influence, hit a car, and drove off. Mm. I wasn't there. How the fuck would I know? <laughs> the super chat. Kim, Kim is the absolute king of self-reports. <laughs> yeah, it really he is. is. That's <laughs> very true. <laughs> Wait, there was one thing I wanted to read. AB, do you know where this is? I'm assuming this is the guy you were referencing from Texas. Yeah, the Jeff Lowe. Oh, yeah, yeah, the that, ledge. Lowe. That guy. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Keemstar's long lost father, maybe? 
I love in the documentary, they're like, oh, we got a Code 69 on the property. And they're like, oh, what does yeah. Code 69 mean? And they're like, oh, there's a hot chick. I love that Jeff Lowe thought he was the coolest fucking thing in the world. And then when the documentary came out, he came out, it, like, he discovered he's a fucking loser. He's the worst. He's so proud of his lines. Yeah, that guy is just such a creep, man. It's just amazing. Reminds me of uh, someone else. <laughs> what is that line about the, the um, miscarriage? I thought that was in here. Mm, oh, did they include it in the lawsuit? Did you put that in here? <laughs> oh. Yeah, so this was like just disgusting freak shit. They included this. In September 2020, Klein entered into a joint venture to host a show called Frenemies with fellow YouTuber Trisha Paytas, who was engaged to Klein's brother-in-law, Moses. He took that 5%. <laughs> Zach? Imagine if it said that. <laughs> Moses, with whom Klein has had disputes with in the past. It's like, okay, bro. Ick. Disputes in the past, though? But it's like, everybody got to, everyone I've ever had a dispute with got to make a cameo in this. <laughs> but what are they even <laughs> referencing about disputes yeah, in the past? I don't know. Not, well, here. Wrong. Frenemies was extremely pop. Well, they also said, well, here, you're going to like this. Frenemies was extremely popular during its nine-month run. However, after a series of disputes, Paytas quit the show in June 2021. Subsequently, Klein relentlessly criticized Paytas. Huh. Okay. What happened between those two things? There's, there's a little gap there. Um, Klein criticized Paytas. Illegal? He well, so the best part's coming. Klein relentlessly criticized Paytas and claimed she would be to blame if Klein's pregnant wife suffered a miscarriage. Wrong. Exactly. Besides being actually just fucking wrong, like why the fuck would you need to include that? It's just sick. It's bizarre. Like I literally didn't say that to her. It was my mom texted it to Moses. Yeah. Moses showed it to Trisha. I mean, they clearly watched a ton of content to get to this point, and then they on purpose misrepresented it. Isn't this defamation? <laughs> you can't defame someone in a court proceeding. <laughs> as far as I understand. Hmm. But why would they include this? It's like just weird and freaky and it's disgusting. Very weird. And lying. Paytas has reported uh, receiving relentless harassment via text and online, leading to a withdrawal from the online communities from which she derives all of her income. That's wrong. You gotta love that, right? I mean, she's still making she's content. She's still making content. And money. And... This is just bizarre. Well... I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's like... I think, no, uh, it says Tr Paytas reported receiving. I think they're just talking about her videos. I'm assuming. I got a sneeze. <laughs> bless you. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, thank you, God thank bless. you. Thank you. Yeah. Papa bless. Who was that? Papa. Papa John. Why do you say it like that? Say it again. Papa Bless. Why does he say it like that? That was his Papa Bless, Papa Flex thing. <laughs> Papa Bless. <laughs> Papa Flex. Anyway, that's about it, eh? That's about it. For That's all I have to say about that. I may not be a smart man, but I do know something's fucked up when I see it. Everything's going to see all right. <laughs> so let's move on to Ace Family because there's some really good updates here. We made a whole four-hour video speculating mm. and wondering about what was this loan they got, you know? Yeah. That became, Shredder's like just straight up sleeping. So, <laughs> so cute. cute. So, cute. <laughs> so cute. Hey, Shreddy. <laughs> So cute. 
How is it real? Dogs. <laughs> I know. Dogs are just so too good. So, um, what did we find here? The Deaf Noodles obviously found some really the good shit. The contractor. Did we find the original? Here. So I should watch this video, right, uh, AB? Yeah, it's 11 minutes long, though, so... Well, I don't care. We got time. Let's do it. Yeah, so this person found some really the good stuff. The contractor who was on-site, who created the relationship with Austin, who got Austin to basically be interested in the house, right? The guy who was there every day, he was not a licensed contractor, and he was using someone else's contracting license, and we were unaware of it for two years, okay? So he lied to us and said that you know, he's the contractor, but in reality, the real contractors was this contracting company called TNL Constructions. So they're the real contractors to, the, to this house, and the only licensed contractors to this house. So our builder just told us something, and we're going to have him re-say it for the video. I just, like, Is this video all just receipts and video clips? Yeah. Yo, shout out! <laughs> This is so funny. So, go ahead. So, anyway. The contractor they are referring to in... Oh, my God. They even got the robot voice? <laughs> you know the contractor that's probably that's made this. It's savage. Uh, Their video is someone by the name of Avi Cochlini. Avi is the builder Austin originally approached to combine the two properties into a mega mansion. Um, is there any way that we could possibly... So who is Avi, and why is he important to this puzzle? This is awesome. As seen in this official statement of information filed with the Secretary of State of California, Avi Cochlini is one of the owners of M Development LLC, along with his brother Tammy Cochlini. Both individuals are named as beneficial owners of the company. Furthermore, note that the type of business is labeled as construction, development, and remodeling. M development is important because they had been the previous owners of the Ace family property from 2016 until Austin and Catherine moved in. As seen in this, this permit application. Guy. Who the fuck made this? <laughs> this is amazing. Got all the documents and everything. Yeah. And from 2017, channel, like M development really... is listed as the Okay, so this is the concrete boss. As we lovingly describe <laughs> Right, <them>. yes. Yeah. <laughs> ...of the property, during the development and construction of the Ace Family Compound, the property only ever had something called an owner-builder permit. An owner-builder is what the term indicates. The person owns the property and acts as the general contractor on the job, and either does the work or has employees or licensed subcontractors work on the project. In this case, the owner-builder is Avi, and he was never legally required to have a contractor's license. Hmm. And the Ace family always knew this. Catherine was cur- Interesting. Right, so her whole thing about he they never had a yeah. license. Mm. He didn't even need to have one. Not relevant. Not a relevant Because he's an owner. Owner And they would have known owner builder from the beginning. Wow. Whoa, right out the gate. This is good shit. Yeah. Shout out to Fleur. 600 subscribers. Yeah, I, I don't know what this channel is. Wait, what other videos do they have them, on the channel? Uh, what other shit these guys making? Again. Oh my god, it's like all Ace Family shit. Austin mm. McBroom caught scamming. Ace Family caught lying. A what? Who was making this channel, man? Holy shit. They hate, they hate the Ace Family. Correct in saying that TNL was technically the only license. I was saying it's probably Avi. He's like, fuck these people. <laughs> Interesting. I got all the receipts. Contractors, but under the owner builder permit for the property, it was completely legal for TNL to work as subcontractors under their unlicensed general contractor Avi. This would have been all over the paperwork they signed. Okay, so oh, Catherine and Austin took out an over fuck, official statement of information Sorry, guys. because they development is what the term in this case the, the only this would have been all over the paperwork they signed. Yeah, that's super interesting. So they say he was lied to us, he's not a real contractor, that's irrelevant. What's sketchy about this is that in April 2019, Catherine and Austin became officers of M Development LLC with an ownership interest. That is odd. So M Development LLC is the company Avi owns that he's building the mm -hmm. house from. Right. And then they became officers. On 
on April 11, 2019, M Development LLC's statement of information was legally changed to include Ace Hat Collection Incorporated, huh. Austin, and Catherine as officers of the company. The business address of the company was even changed to Austin and Catherine's huh. home address. Also, note that the type of business for M Development LLC changed from construction, huh. development and remodeling, to entertainment. Catherine's signature huh. is at the bottom of this Wait, paperwork. Type oh, whoa. <laughs> this is so weird. Mm -hmm. It gets better. How can an entertainment company build a house? In the context of it being a set? Essentially, which... Well, they started the project as construction. Right. And then they changed it to entertainment. That is odd. That is some fuckery for sure. While partial owners of M Development LLC, Austin and Catherine obtained an ownership interest as borrowers, along with Tammy Cochlany, while borrowers of M Development, Catherine and Austin took out an over $3.5 million loan from Five Arch Funding. So why would Catherine and Austin become partial owners of M Development LLC? That's the big question, isn't it? In my opinion, they became members of M Development LLC because under an owner-builder permit, the property is ineligible for resale unless the owner-builder has lived at the property for at least 12 months. One loophole to this situation is a quit-claim deed. A quit claim deed is an instrument used to transfer real property, such as real estate. The exception is that they can be used when a property transfers ownership without technically being sold. That is when no money is involved. That's their house? It's fucking huge. What the hell? How big is that house? Two houses together. I don't know, but like, shit. I didn't realize it was so big. And they can be used when a property transfers ownership without technically how being big sold. That house is. That is Jesus. It's like a mega mansion. Yep. It's when no money is involved. Therefore, no resale occurred and the McBrooms can officially become owners. They likely exchanged money for the property outside of the quit claim deed. Since quit claim deed transfers are considered gifts, they are typically used between family members or business partners transferring property interest. While still partial <coughs> owners of M Development, Austin and Catherine entered into a quit claim deed with the Cochlany family. They transferred the deed solely to Ace Hat Collection and subsequently Austin and Catherine removed themselves as owners. I believe the McBroom family became temporary owners to make the quit claim transfer more legitimate, and possibly for tax reasons too. It also makes me believe they were always aware that their general contractor never had a license, since they were aware of the owner-builder permit, and they went through all that trouble to disguise the sale of the property. We never got they were in deep with this guy. That is so weird. So, just to recap, as I'm understanding what this person is trying to say. You do this house, you build it for yourself. You have to live in it for a year before you can sell it because of the type of loan. So, technically, Avi's the one that owned it and his company. So, to get around the law... Of Avi having to live in it for a year. They pretended to join his company. Mm-hmm. And did then use this quick claim thing. Paid him out, like, under the table or whatever. Probably. What the fuck, bro? This is so shady. It sounds illegal, like mortgage fraud. Like, mortgage fraud, I feel like they could actually go to jail for that if it really pans out. Like, what's the crime for mortgage fraud? Is it jail or just massive fines? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Uh, it could be up to three years in prison. Three years? Yo, these guys are oh. such pieces of shit. And then to come out here and like shit on this guy. Okay, let's continue on. This is real interesting. We got a certificate of occupancy. We are not legally be able to be occupants in our home that we've been paying for, that we purchased for almost three years. We have never had a certificate of occupancy. While it is true that they never had a certificate of occupancy, that isn't the only reason why they were never legally allowed to live at the property. In July 2019, Austin and Catherine took out an almost $9 million mortgage loan with Five Arch Funding as the lender. In the loan's agreement, 
The conditions were that the loan was for business purposes, and under no circumstance shall the borrower occupy, establish, or use the property, Whoa. or any part thereof, mm -hmm. as borrower's residence or residence of any principal. The Whoa! Wow. That's the That's crazy. smoking gun right there, it would seem. Whoa. That would explain why they got a loan to begin with in a place that's not livable, right? Because right? we were wondering, like, how did they even get a loan then? What the fuck? I gotta, I gotta hear that again. That is just, that's like actual. Not only are they scum, they're also dumb because they put this all online, <laughs> and they're challenging people to uncover their fraud, which is out in daylight. Yeah, and their fans obviously don't care. So, like, I right. don't understand the motivation to make that video. Like, this is mm -hmm. going to backfire on them so hard. Austin and Catherine took out an almost $9 million mortgage loan with five art. So what kind of loan was this? It was like they're apparently... I'm reading some of the writing here. Not sure that it says it here. It just says, yeah. Arch funding is the lender. In the loans agreement, the conditions were that the loan was for business purposes, and under no circumstance shall the borrower occupy, establish, or use the property, or any part thereof, as borrower's residence or residence of any principal. So they got a flip loan. They got a loan to build a house and sell it, not to live in it. How did this person get the loan document? I think it's public. I think it's right? public. I yeah. think they just, really? did, just did the legwork. Digging yeah, this all I think up. It, I think it's public. So it's like they give you this massive loan on a short term because you're supposed to build the house, sell the house. Oh, Shredder needs to yeah. go outside. Hang on, Shreddy, don't jump to your death. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Shred. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Yeah, he needs to go out. So they give you this massive loan with the short term because you're supposed to build the house and then sell the house and pay back the money. You're not. It's not a 30-year loan. It's right. like it was like a 16-month loan. Yo, why you fucking lying? But you don't think there's a chance this guy got it wrong, right? Making. I mean, video? I guess there's a chance. For some but, random anonymous account. But, but they said, well, the Ace family said it was a 16-month loan, and they're mm, like, right. It, I it, 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 I mean, it fits. Yeah, it does it, fit. It fits. Idiot. St. <laughs> Paul, the agreement went on to say the property is owned by the borrower exclusively for commercial purpose, either mm -hmm. for repair or resale. This means that they obtained the mortgage under false pretenses, Holy making wow. the lenders believe that they were not living there and only using the property to work and film, or to flip and resell what at a later date. Fuck? Austin McBroom signed the agreement. And by making this their permanent residence, Catherine and Austin committed mortgage fraud. Yep. They were never legally allowed to occupy the residence because of this. I don't know. They told people that whoever was like writing the underwriter permits, permitted oh. to build. They told them that they weren't actually going to live there. They were just going to film there. And they the city that. Yeah. And they moved in anyways. <clears throat> permanently. Right. So anyways, they. So we've never had gas. So just so you guys know, our winters are getting really cold in LA. We live in a glass house. We were freezing in our house. We were so freaking cold. There was no heat, no nothing. Because because in our house, we didn't have hot water, and I was giving my babies yeah. cold baths because, because I didn't have a choice. Yeah, if you were so concerned for your poor babies and bathing them in cold water while having them live in dangerous conditions, then why didn't you sell the place when you were offered double the price? Watch the next clip. When you were offered <laughs> double the price? Guess what? Someone just offered to buy our house for double the price you're we lying. bought it for. You're lying. I'm dead ass. I wouldn't lie about that. No. You know I wouldn't lie about that. Okay, so what? For double the price we bought it for. Hell no. No? Hell no. No, yeah. no. I would have no, to agree. No. I agree. Because I don't think we should ever sell it. No, unless, unless. This is actually so good That's because this person dug up all the goods. Yeah, because in the video we watched of their explanation, they're like, I knew in my heart that just we needed to get out of there. That's yeah. why I never bought furniture for the house. Right. Yeah. And then someone comes and offers them double and they say no. I mean, sorry. Blood boiling. <laughs> <laughs> it was just something like absolutely ridiculous. I was giving my baby 
<laughs> we were literally like scammed and it's so crazy because people use that word so lightly when it comes to us like the ace family oh, scam, scam, it sounds scam. like the person who was scammed was the bank by you guys mm. in reality you guys got scammed <laughs> that's crazy man <laughs> and it's like no we've never scammed anyone we've been scammed multiple times over and over and over and over and in reality oh. like you guys got That's scammed. That's not even that. <laughs> <laughs> Within the jet ski, and like the neighbors were complaining and this and that, and we didn't really speak on it because, like, well, now I can finally speak on it. So I'm gonna speak on it right now. There should be nothing wrong ever, ever, ever with an owner of a home doing anything he wants with his pool. You got a pool, you freaking happy as hell. If you want to put a freaking jet ski in it, you put a jet ski in it. Yeah, right? I love. I was. I heard her say. I was like, what are you a libertarian now? All of a sudden. I don't know about jet ski in the pool. I feel like I'm okay with having a law about that. Yeah. <laughs> and we had lots of jokes about that yeah. when we watched it. Except you signed an agreement with your lender stating that you would preserve the property and not do anything okay. to damage or impair it. Well, there you go. Receipts. Receipts. Borrower shall not destroy, damage, or impair the property. Allow the property to deteriorate or commit waste on the property. Borrower shall maintain the property as good and safe condition and repair in order to prevent the property from deteriorating or decreasing in value. Causing landslides? You think that's a... <laughs> <laughs> this video is awesome, dude. There's it is. This person must be a fan, right? Because they got... Dude, what are you doing? I mean, they were talking about how they thought the pool was so unsafe in the video and they were scared yeah. to go in it. I was like, you're trying to... But if you think that pool is unsafe and you're going around like that... But this is the issue. There was no retaining wall built around the bottom hill of our house because the, the, the builder. builder didn't build one. He didn't get a certificate of occupancy. So our builder actually took it upon himself and built a whole entire retaining wall down below. Yeah, in the video she was saying how the builder fucked them and the reason why their pool leaks is because he didn't build a retaining wall. It's just crazy how they lie. Builder didn't build one. He didn't get a certificate of occupancy. So our builder actually took it upon himself and built a whole entire retaining wall down below. Every day you're with me when I think I can stand, think I can stand. On our property. Think I can stand, think I can stand. So he built that wall, came back and used the jet ski the third time. Uh, we got a complaint and even though there was a retaining wall there. Think I can stand, think I can stand. Mm -hmm. I wanted to complain and what? say something anyways, which I understand. Like, it's still the matter of the fact, but it's still my property that the water is going to. Sorry, but take responsibility. Oh, no. Why? Why? Back again. Oh, it's right here. I'm right. sorry, but take responsibility for one thing. This builder seems guilty of a lot, but to blame him for your dis for you disturbing your neighbors with noise and a monsoon of chlorinated <laughs> water is absurd. <laughs> True. That's what it was. <laughs> also had cracks in it. Oh my God. Maybe this <laughs> had. <laughs> Every month, every time, oh all time, like, huh? if you know me, you know that I pay my fucking bills. Like, for people to say, <laughs> for people to really? say, how can we try? <laughs> for people to say that we don't. You're kidding, but you. Well, she got said it up. herself, though. In the video, in this exact video, she said that eventually she just they couldn't get alone, and she just was like praying for the best, <laughs> basically. Praying for someone in City Hall to save Ace Family. You also own two office suites at a commercial hmm. building and you are delinquent on property taxes Whoa. for both. That means you don't pay your bills, my oh love. My God. Oh my what? God, this person <laughs> is out of control. <laughs> How does this person know all this stuff? They probably just looked up their business, Ace Hat Family or whatever the fuck. Mm -hmm. Delinquent. Well, Keemstar also had a lien on his house, we learned. That was awesome. Yeah. That was like it turned into a story, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we talk about that? Uh, I, I'd have to brush up on the details. It, yeah, it was King like Shark a quarter, didn't... quarter million dollar tax <laughs> lien for unpaid taxes. For like three years. Yeah. Wow. Dude, you live in Buffalo. Come on, bro. Your house costs like 10 bucks. <laughs> Sorry. That was mean. A classes or something. <laughs> 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 18 months, I paid 
pay like as it goes and then it comes back and I'm like what the hell why does money just come back into my account right because I, I do all accounting and look at everything and I'm like uh what's going on with the, the lenders like my, my money just came back he goes oh like they're saying that they don't want to do uh, do it anymore like they don't want to like keep Gee, that. I wonder they why they don't be lenders anymore. yeah they don't want to be the lenders anymore like basically like you guys are out of your fucking mind to come out here and pretend to be the victim it's again just such an unforced error too like why make this video <laughs> Their fans support them just, unconditionally. Like I think it's the ego. They can't take the the, the fact that this is now what they're known for, that they got foreclosure on their house. Right. Well, when I was watching that, right. the one thing that kept... They kept... They were so wanted people to think they were rich. Mm -hmm. They didn't want anyone to think that they were poor. But the thing is, like, yeah, I mean, they bought a lot of sympathy with their fans. Oh, see, they even vlogged it. Last day of the Ace Family House, buy forever. That's so crazy, because a month ago, they were like, fucking haters. Hey, hey, yeah, he said something along the lines that we only got two lawsuits, and it's this and this. It's not us. We're fine. Just people hating. Why the fuck you lying? <laughs> Why the you fuck always you lying? lying? Oh, my God. Stop fucking lying. <laughs> um, a lot of people in the buddy. chat pointing out that you just enjoyed a buffalo a chicken calzone. Uh, <laughs> So this buffalo slander will not stand. <laughs> okay, all right. I guess right. I have to love everything with good buffalo point. in it now. <laughs> I mean, that calzone kind of slapped. It was good. Can I say? So I love buffalo. Box me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, whatever. You know what? I'm just going to freaking keep living my life, keep doing what I do, just freaking be positive, just stay positive, this. Catherine, stay positive. And then one day, I'm on like Instagram or something, and someone goes, this, why is your house under foreclosure? Exactly uh, this is what she's saying. She was told they can't get a loan. And then she's like, I'm just going to stay, stay positive. positive. You don't stay positive during a loan. <laughs> yeah, you owe the money. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you have to pay the, 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 you have to pay the I mortgage. I heard her say that. I was like, what the fuck? Let me go back. Like, go, freaking go find somebody else. So then I'm like, whatever. You know what? I'm just going to freaking keep Wait, the lenders. Like, my, my money just came back. He goes, oh, like, they're saying that they don't want to do, uh, do it anymore. Like, they don't want to, like, keep up. They don't want to be lenders anymore. Yeah, they don't want to be the lenders anymore. Like, basically, like, go oh, freaking go find somebody else. So then I'm like, whatever, you know what? I'm just going to freaking keep living my life, keep doing what I do, just freaking be positive. Yeah, and not paying my bill. <laughs> oh my God. AK got foreclosed If you're on. not paying the bill, that doesn't mean it just disappeared. That's very true. I'm just going to keep living my life, keep Stay staying positive. positive. Ace family. You got to pay them, though. You know that, right? She's like, and then magically, we got foreclosed on. I'm trying to get some attention. To stay positive, Catherine, stay positive. And then one day, I'm on like Instagram or something. And someone goes, "Why is your house under foreclosure?" And I'm like, "What the hell?" My I was staying positive for three months. <laughs> what the hell? And one day, somebody said I'm being foreclosed on. <laughs> foreclosure? You hadn't. Okay, so this this gets into it. You hadn't made a mortgage payment in six months. Wow. And received a notice of default, but you were shocked when it into foreclosure. Holy fuck. Oh, little Big Lebowski. Once the original lender said, screw you guys, we're out of here. So I handled a slew of foreclosures. So I know how the process works. Mm -hmm. And Catherine McBroom sat there and expects us to believe that, well, she said, I sent the payment and I looked in my account and the money came back. And I didn't know what happened. And Alan, what's going on? He's like, oh, the bank doesn't want to deal with you anymore. So they're not going to take your money. Well, first of all, that's bullshit. They can't refuse to take your money. There would have to be some other condition present for them not to take it. Either you've already defaulted and they've decided we're not going to take your money now because it's too late. We're going to proceed with the foreclosure. Or your loan came due and you didn't pay what you were supposed to pay at the end of the loan. And so they're not going to take your money. But they don't just decide randomly. You have an agreement with them. You know, when you take a mortgage out on a property, there's this huge stack of paperwork that you do. They can't just randomly say, oh, we've decided we don't want to do business with you anymore. Your original lender said we're out of here because they found out that you committed <laughs> mortgage fraud and were violating the terms of your legal agreement. Whether you defaulted or committed fraud, they had every legal right to terminate the agreement and start the foreclosure process. The lenders who lent us that, the, the loan for our mortgage, they said, screw you, we don't care about your 70k a month, yeah. right? We're going to buy this bitch for 10 million. Yeah. Yes, that's what happens when you're in foreclosure, when you default and violate your agreement, the property goes back to the lender so they can get their money back. Oh, you are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. We just got an appraisal just a couple months ago. When all this shit was going out, our house is worth sixteen point five million dollars. No, right? That's what the appraisal like appraisal. Oh. Then why didn't you sell it for the appraisal value? Yeah. Pay back the nine million loan and still have six million left in profit. Are you guys suing yeah. people? Like what's going on? Builder, who is like the main piece of this whole situation, um, we were doing our research and come to find out 
he was basically going bankrupt if he didn't have shit to his name. So a lot of times you can't sue anybody if they don't have anything. Uh, so it would just be pointless. And we, we were asked out and we weren't able to, you know, obviously sue him because he doesn't have anything. It would just be a waste of time and energy and money. The truth By is... The way, a lot of people talk about how the energy between them is so weird. How he keeps looking at her like, don't say the wrong thing. Mm. Or he keeps trying for to sure. stop her before she says something. Yeah. It's so awkward. Yeah. Well, they're both drunk in the video, for sure. Especially, I, she, I don't think she is, but... Especially him. <laughs> the truth is that they cannot sue the builder because the property was constructed under an owner-builder permit. Legally, the responsibility falls towards them because California law only protects customers from construction work that isn't taken out in their name. Well, there you fucking go. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> Two lot, we have two lawsuits against us, right? Uh, so. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> uh, I think, I think so. it's more than that, babe. <laughs> 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 well, I have three, so who am I to, right. who am I to uh, laugh? Yeah. True. <laughs> but at least you know the amount. Oh, I can tell you very definitively <laughs> it's three. Uh, <laughs> how many lawsuits against us? Mm. Um, that's Four, three. three. Like and subscribe. Wow, what a video. Wow. What a fucking journey. Give the channel a shout out again. Yeah, that was a... Uh, fuck. Floor? Well, it's... What was the channel? Floor? Floor. F-L-E-U-R. And they're, all they do is make Ace Family videos. <laughs> Let's see. So, brand new channel. Two weeks ago. Ace Family lying for 11 minutes straight. Austin McBroom cheating on Catherine compilation. Catherine McBroom 1212 Gateway. Ace Family caught selling furniture. Yeah. Uh, why the fuck you lying? Why you always oh, lying? I wasn't supposed to, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not shouting them out in case they're like a pedo or something. Oh, uh, yeah, right. I'm just right. saying, here's the channel. <laughs> I'm not allowed to do shout outs anymore. <laughs> shout out to his family. <laughs> oh, this, you want, should I read this comment? Um, someone said uh, Austin got a quick claim deed because they were trying to avoid taxes. I don't understand the ins and outs of that. And no wonder they weren't able to sell the house since a quick claim deed offers no security for the buyer like a wa regular warranty deed. If there's any liens, mortgages, or other encumbrances on the property, it could all fall to the buyer. It's already no guarantee that the seller actually even has any rights to sell the property. So, of course, nobody is going to want that mess of a house. What a fucking shit show that situation is. Can't y'all just buy a house? Like, just buy a house. Why you got to do everything so weird? Oh, this is our last one. Steve will do it. Another Keemstar related drama. You gotta love that. Wait, this is Cav Cav. What the fuck is this? Oh, Drama Alert posted this? No way. So, Drama Alert has an Instagram account. Dude, they it's are a vibe right now. so fucking BFFs. <laughs> Keemstar and Kavanaugh are literally BFFs. Dan, have you seen this? Keemstar posted Kavanaugh on uh, Instagram. The end of H3, H3? <laughs> yeah, right. From one day ago. Go back to retirement. Yeah. Fucking the end of H3? <laughs> H3 needs to stop harassing, harming, and attempting to destroy other people's lives by sp spreading and false and malicious lies. Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to be the one to stop him. I believe within months, his channel will be banned from YouTube. Oh. He shared this. Yeah, he shared this. Nice picture, by the okay. way. You want to know how I think of Ryan Kavanaugh? Hmm. Here, I'll show you how I think of Ryan Kavanaugh when I think of him. How do you think of him? When I imagine Ryan Kavanaugh, this is what I imagine. This is what he should have posted. You, you put up an This image. That's Ryan Kavanaugh. Amazing <laughs> invitation on your Instagram. Is he here? This is my man right here. What is going on there? Like, is that is that like a just a long sleeve white shirt with a 
white nothing, t-shirt over it? Nothing makes sense because <laughs> that's strange. Like, what is that? It looks sleeve? like a weird Vetements like parody piece. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's my boy right there. <laughs> Dana should take his money and uh, have his fight <laughs> in his backyard. Dana he won't come answer my text messages, so I don't know if. <laughs> He wants You're a lion dog face pony like, soldier. Uh, uh, Dana sucks. <laughs> also, did dra- so this was so drama alert. Also, quote tweeted, um, "Steve will do it." One day ago, H three H 3s a loser. That's breaking news <laughs> on the drama alert Instagram page. Wow. That's awesome, right? Huge facts. H three is a turd oh, that's from the, the roided out guy. motherfucker. Yeah. So that first post that had Kev Kev in it, that's where Steve will do it commented. Mm. Oh shit, I gotta go back. <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole con- there's a whole connection. Does he just post about me every day on Instagram? What is this shit? Zach, this is I don't know. I'm correct about, about that, right, Zach? That's where you Yeah, yeah, the, okay. the Ryan Kavanaugh post was right. where Steve commented. And then they <laughs> posted that. And then that was a breaking story. Yeah. Bre- Why okay. Alright. What is happening? I keep trying to open. Okay, thank you. Did someone? Okay. They flipped it for him. It's the same one. What the fuck is happening, AB? You gave me the same link. <laughs> I'm clicking this shit. <laughs> okay, here it is again. What's <laughs> happening? Here, I have four of them. You got you got a new link? Maybe you want me to click? <laughs> here it is once again. You gotta. Where the fuck am I supposed to click, dude? It's in the, it's in the talk. <laughs> okay, which link? <laughs> it's the. <laughs> Go ahead. It's the. It's the. It's right here. I'm highlighting it right here. Bro, if this is Steve, will do it. I'm gonna f- lose my fucking mind. <laughs> here, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> here, open this link. Oh damn it! It didn't work because I just put it in there. <laughs> Okay, here's the link Zach sent me. <laughs> Fucking Steve will do it. What? I didn't send you that. Wait, what? This is I the... sent you the right one off. Okay, here's one that Love sent me. You just clicked it. Wait, wait. You I can just already clicked tell it like a minute ago. Same link. <laughs> <laughs> Love, you fucking sent me. <laughs> All right. Okay. I just... click, click the fucking highlighted link. Here, it's highlighted. All right, here. It's fucking Steve will You're do it. You're fucking with it, dude. <laughs> I literally just clicked it. And it's open. <laughs> All right, one. Wait, send me the link you just opened, Olivia. Send me on Discord the one that works. Tell me when you've sent it. I have gone to my phone. <laughs> I'm sending now from my phone. All right, let me click the link AB sent. <laughs> what the fuck, AB? Are you guys fucking with me? I just sent it. I literally just sent it in the Discord. <laughs> All right, man, let me click the link to you're Zach. Fucking with me, man. <laughs> if I was new, I'd have a fucking panic attack right now. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> okay, Your shit is flipped. <laughs> okay, I found the right one. I found the right one. There we go. Poor love's been spamming it sixty times. <laughs> it's like these stupid Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I found it. All right, so here is this, and then in the comments is Steve will do it. Guy's a loser. I mean, bro. I mean, you want to talk about loser? You literally scammed your fans, and now you're broke. <laughs> also, your thumbnail has you with Trump. That's peak, Dan. Mm. I believe he lost the election, so technically he is a loser. <laughs> I'm gonna go rip a dart. (laughs) I'm gonna rip a dart. (laughs) I'm gonna rip a dart. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gonna rip a dart. I guess I am a loser. I don't fucking shotgun beers on a nightly basis and fuck hot chicks every night. Well, I fuck my wife. Yo, can you put on Astro World? (laughs) Keep it on Astro World. What do you think he means by me being a loser? That I can't beer bonk three beers at once? That you. don't. I'm like fat. I am fat. I'm not you don't have a deal with Rubet or you're a uh, nerd. Yeah. I'm play video games. I yeah. think he called CoffeeZilla a loser too. Anyone who could, you know, 
but expose Mace him for scamming loser. people's a loser. I feel like, you know, if he was a true Nelk boy, he would have called you a half sender. So I feel like <laughs> this is fake Nelk boy behavior. He's uh, like, that dude doesn't even have a fatty liver. Yeah. It, this <laughs> from is, excessive drinking. It's just fake fucking Nelk boyism. You are a full sender, Ethan. He's like, that bro doesn't even have pre liver disease. It's half sender. Is it Rona season? <laughs> Okay, so he said, what a loser. And then Kim's just like, breaking fucking news! <laughs> Can't even do it! Hey, she's a loser! <laughs> Via drama alert comment! <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't repost Bradley Martin. Oh, he probably didn't see it yet. He probably will. He'll just keep this chain going. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Some hard hitting reporting right there. Yep. What the fuck? That's why he's the best. That's best, why he's at his peak. Best. Retiring at his peak. <laughs> <laughs> Going out with style. Yeah, that's right. I do got to It's not as good as CSQ, though. I mean, come on. All right, now I got to close all True. these fucking windows of Steve will do it, you guys. Mm. Man, what the fuck? Look at all these. This is outrageous. This is so inappropriate. Like, no, no shoddies or anything? You gonna rip a dart? No shoddies or anything? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, oh, here it is. 40,000 likes, guys. Who agrees? <laughs> <laughs> Who agrees? <laughs> Can I get a shout out? <laughs> the, everyone that, well, the second, re the, it didn't go that well, because look, the second reply, no, he's better than Steve. So H3 <laughs> is so old. I guess that does make me a loser. Loser. Well, Boys, did I miss the set? I'm a, Everyone's I'm a like gone that now? One. <laughs> <laughs> Who agrees? That's news, guys. <laughs> Me! Well, they, this guy good. agrees. Fuck yeah. Wow, a 55-year-old dating a 20-year-old, trying to get people <laughs> online to bully the person he hates like a 12-year-old. H3 is just everything Keemstar lost and that makes him crazy. Now there's a fucking comment. That's a comment. God, you don't even have to scroll for these. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, right it's the top comment. Amazing. Oh, who's H3H3? H3? Okay, that's good. That's, that's fine. a little shout-out. I mean, he's getting my name out there. That's fine. Can everyone, Can someone explain why everyone's mad at H3? I didn't do anything. I think you're just on the wrong page. I'm just spitting facts, you know? So he thinks making all those cringe videos for clout doesn't make him a loser, but H3H3R, lol, dude, has so many b ball suckers around. What? <laughs> well, okay. Someone said he's right, though. I guess I'm right? Or he, or Daniel's right? Yeah. I mean, I think grammatic, saying, the though right. didn't really need to be there. I think they're saying he's right, though. Well, Dan, this person's probably nine years old. Give him a break. I've never heard you call him by his real name. I don't think. This person said, I thought yeah, that, that was odd. Name. Yeah, right? You called mm -hmm. him Daniel. That was so Me? weird. Yeah. 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 Do you, don't you think it's better to call him Daniel? It's like, okay, Daniel. <laughs> Keemstar? <laughs> it's what like, is this no. Daniel slander? Hold no. on. <laughs> Hold on. No, no. There's no. nothing wrong with Daniel. I'm just saying, oh, your girlfriend's here. She is. She brought us gifts. Oh, I was like, oh. what am I looking at right now? <laughs> we love Allie. Allie, please stand up. Hi, Allie. She's totally not even looking over here. <laughs> no, it's not It's not against his name. It's against, like, he's like, I'm Keemstar. It's like, no, you're Daniel. Yeah. Dan's you're cool. You're just a guy. Yeah, you're Dan's, Daniel. Dan's a cool name. Daniel's like little boy, you know? Hmm. Like a little bitch boy. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. It's like a little boy. I wasn't little, implying little that, but okay. <laughs> little bitch. Gotta love that news network. So good. Best Shit. of the best. Best of the best, my friend. Maybe we'll see um, it in Kavanaugh's ads soon. Mm. H2H3 is -H a loser by Steve. We'll do it. We should promote that. That promoted. <laughs> Seems like That'd people. be pretty funny, actually. Yeah, but I mean, I'm in for that. All right, I guess we're out of time. We've probably been going for a while, right? Family. Family. Yeah, family. 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 Stop! Family. Oh, it sounded like the jet ski guy. Yeah. Or maybe you should hit the stop sound, Zach. Okay. Oh. So you do it. Don't leave it up to Zach. Yeah, you're giving him too much power. Yeah. I'm going to let that go. let that go forever. Okay, let's just try it with the button. Okay. And then you guys can set me up with the button. Family. 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 Family.
You didn't stop this. Wow, Zach, bro. I got a whole thing going on. Wow, Zach. I got a whole thing. (laughs) Hmm. Stop. (laughs) Happens when we put him in charge. (laughs) Fuck you, Daniel. How about that? What? Okay. Oh, Oh, shit. Chill. Whoa, whoa, chill, chill, chill. 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 All right, well, I finally get to go play Final Fantasy. Hell yeah. Okay, loser. Okay, loser. (laughs) You're a fucking loser. 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 I knew it. What are you going to do? Okay. Me? Oh, him. I'm deflating your back. No! Oh, shit. That'll work. <laughs> I didn't know that's what that did. Yep. Talk shit again, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, loser. Uh, I'm going to read off some donations because there's been a lot and we haven't really done any today, so let me just rapid fire. Uh, random, but Ethan, try out Elder Scrolls Online for a new game. He ju- he's got... Final Fantasy 14. Yeah, I'm, I'm all I've in. played uh, ESO a little bit. My girlfriend loves it. She plays it all the time. So, shout out to ESO. I always wanted to because I love, you know, the Elder Scrolls. I played them all. But I heard it was bad, so I never picked it up. It's it's not bad. It's good. But I'm in Final Fantasy. He's in he's in the world of Ivalice. Uh $2. My first ever super chat. Big love, Olivia. Shout out to Olivia. Oh my God. That's right. Thank you. Um, somebody donated uh, 50 DKKKR. Is that Korean cash? Danish crowns. Danish. Oh, Danish. Uh, and, Danish. And gave like a little gif that says, keep it up. I didn't know you could do that. So, mm. very nice. Oh, shit. Wait, Kimstar just posted this. This is breaking news. H3 is a turd. <laughs> Bradley wow. Martin via drama alert comments. <laughs> <laughs> Huge breaking news. Who uh, agrees? News. Who yeah. agrees? Who agrees? Yeah, uh, likes and uh, <laughs> type, type, get and tell in the comments if you agree. You told us at the beginning of the show you dropped a huge turd, so last night. <laughs> Uh, I feel like it's my civic duty to share that Ryan Kavanaugh's own Relativity Media worked on Fast and the Furious 4 since we're on the family train. Love you, family for life. <laughs> That's right, and I think, I think some of the other ones family. too. Family, family, <laughs> family, family. <laughs> Family, 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 family. family. Stop! I'm trying to find some big ones because. Oh, wait, love, you were writing them in the chat. Yeah. Okay, let me just read those off because I, I, I wanted to. in the other shots. Okay, $100. Uh, Stephanie 100. McDonald. Uh, here's $100 to fund along with my monthly membership. I am so sick of men like Cav Cav and Keemstar. Oh. Such fragile male egos. YouTube would not let me submit the chat until I removed a swear word. <laughs> uh. what are we Thank you. Shout do out with our men. Oh, Where would we be without men with fragile egos? <laughs> <laughs> a much better place. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, Thank you. Garrett donated a hundred dollars and said the doctor told me this is two hundred. <laughs> Wait, say that again. <laughs> He's uh, it's a little burn on Zach. It's a good one, Garrett. Yeah. The six. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Very nice, Garrett. Very nice. Thank you. Thank we you. Love that. Uh. Or and Forge donated 50 British pounds sterling and said, as a law student, I hope you succeed with this lawsuit because, frankly, you're about to set another common law. Judge made law precedent on fair use because expressing your views is important to keep people like Kavanaugh to account high from the UK. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. Thank you so much. What are, you, are you worried that we're about to fall off? Yeah. Okay. Just, like, move forward. Oh, that would be disastrous. <laughs> Uh, hey H3 crew, this is my first time donating to become a member to the channel. I love you all. Thank you for this blessed entertainment. Papa bless ya. Love bot. I love you, dog. By the way, Ethan rocking that bucket hat like a god. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Wow. I was going to say, I'm not here. looking to do any precedent. I don't want to do any precedent. I don't want to be sued. I don't want to deal with this shit at all. But these motherfuckers. They're making it happen. But thank you for your support, you know. Family. 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 Uh, Speaking of which, Lori Hicks, $100, 100 families from 1,000 Vin Diesels on a million channels to you. Family. Thank you, Rory. Family. Family. Diabolical Biscuit. Family. I have a confession. I was a paid actor by AB to be RK to plan his eventual overtake of H3 in the whole Hollywood. Family. 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 I'm family. starting to family. give it family. 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 It doesn't sound like a word anymore. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like Emily. Uh, yada, yada, yada. I'm sorry. There's, I'm sure there's some other good ones in here. What? Oh. Oh, we have a transformation. 
We gotta say it first. Uh -oh. Don't show me. Well, you're kind of late. If you've been a little faster. I know. I know. I know. Uh, thirty dollars. Name is X. I listen to your podcast while I'm chilling. Anyways. I've been in a pretty good mood this week, so here's thirty dollars. Hey, yeah, thanks, like dude. I mean, that name name is X. That's how the your message boy opens. X out here. Name is X. I listen to your podcast while I'm chilling. Anyway, I've been in a pretty good mood this week, so here's thirty. Cool. I'm a pretty cool dude. My friends call me X. Thank well, thanks, you. X. That's thirty bucks. You are bucks. cool, dude. You I'll are a very fun. cool dude. If Dan wants to goof on you. I got nothing. That was just the way. That was just the way. I got nothing and respect and love for Mr. X. All right, Doctor uh, X. Let's see. Uh, Fifty dollars. Day two of asking how much it would cost to have Ethan officiate my wedding completely in the Godfather voice. Just got engaged last week. How much would? The, how much would you do that for? Got? How much money you got? Okay, that's a good response. All right, Kaylee. You come to me on the day of your wedding, <laughs> asking for a favor. <laughs> You want to pay me? No, no, no. I, you can pay me in favor. Someday I may come to you, and I will ask you for a favor. <laughs> that day may never come. But when that day comes... <laughs> what? <laughs> Family. 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 Stop! You're fired, love. Love you. Get out. Shut him off. Shut him down. Cat Kitty donated 500 yen and said, I wouldn't have even heard of Triller. It doesn't exist in Japan if it wasn't for his pettiness. Keep fighting the good fight. Ethan, love you all. And then some Japanese kanji, which I cannot read. Oh. I think they translate after it. It's family. They wrote family yeah. in Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> love, love out in Japan. Yep. Uh, love cool. you. Uh, all right. Let's go home. It's the weekend, baby. How long did we go for? Uh, like three and a half hours or so. Three and a half? Yeah, we're doing marathons this week. Yeah. Crazy. Let me double check that. Maybe just three. It's almost 4.30. Did we really do three and a three half? Three hours and ten minutes. Yeah. Three hours and ten minutes. There yeah. you go. All right. Well, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Remember that a new Leftovers will be out on Sunday. It's going to be a great episode. Oh, I, I forgot to do this on Wednesday, so let me do it now. There is a survey in the description. If you have a couple minutes, uh, just click the link and fill it out. It'll help us out with uh, our sponsors and all that kind of stuff. Only if you got the time, though. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. If you're super fucking bored. If you are bored and have nothing better to nothing do. Nothing happening in your life. Yeah. Fill out this survey. With peace and love. With, With peace, peace and, love. and love. Yeah, so if you're a member, you'll get to watch Leftovers on Saturday. Yes, indeed. And if not, uh, it will be available for everyone on Sunday. We love you, no matter what your status is. That's right. That's right. We're watching. That's right. We love it. That's right. Ta ta. They said we wouldn't come back, but you, we always do. Rice from the ashes like the Phoenix on the flex back to two. You're watching next to the three. 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 I'm out.